senior citizen or toddler. Girls first place winner, Angelica Aguirez as a toddler. Boys first place winner, Noah Tomlinson as Herbert Tomlinson. Creep winner, first place, Harper and Watts Fortner as a chicken and an egg. Second place, funeral party, Tierra Holmes, Zena Chambliss, and Caden Rodriguez. Third place, the old folks and grandbabies. Taylor, Keenan, Chelsea, Jamaria, Jada, and Clara Grace. Honorable mention, the family tree group and daddy daycare. Teachers, first place, Laura Burns. Second place, Ty, Mandy Fulton and Cole Henley. Third place, Ty, Sarah Testerman and Liza Stalby. Honorable mention, Lisey Strickland and Charlotte Morris, Morris and Megan Stalby. Thursday was class day. Thursday was class day and the students dressed up for color wars. Eighth grade dressed in yellow, ninth grade dressed in white, 10th grade dressed in green, 11th grade dressed in red, and 12th grade dressed in orange. The class with the most participation was the juniors. Teachers, first place, Mandy Fulton. Second place, Cole Henley. Third place, Sarah Testerman. The most creative class goes to the seniors. Best in class, eighth grade, Shania Jones. Best in class, ninth grade, Kelly Deloach and Kelby Hendricks. Best in class, 10th grade, Kaylee Walker. Best in class, grade 11, J.R. Goodman and Alex Smith. Best in class, 12th grade, Angel McRae and Taylor Wells. We would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that participated in the 2020 Homecoming Parade. While things have been very different due to COVID restrictions, we appreciate everyone that supported us and made it a special time for our school system. We also want to thank all the downtown businesses for decking out in their Panther Pride. The weeks prior to homecoming, each class selects its homecoming representative. This honor is bestowed upon 12 young ladies. We extend congratulations to each of these young ladies as we proudly present to you our homecoming court of 2020. We would like to thank the Averett House for the beautiful corsages the class representatives are wearing and for the Queen's bouquet. Representing the eighth grade is Miss Shania Jones. She is the daughter of Cassandra and Chad Jones. Shania has been a middle school cheerleader for three years and is currently serving as cheer captain. She won the most improved cheerleader award as well. Shania is a Clinch County AB honor roll student and has achieved perfect attendance. After high school, Shania plans to attend Stanford University and pursue a medical degree. She is escorted tonight by her father, Mr. Chad Jones. Our next eighth grade representative is Ms. Blair Manat. She is the daughter of Nikki Bisdorf and Timmy Manat. Blair is a member of the Clinch County Middle School Lady Panther softball and cheerleading team. She earned a Clinch County High School Student of the Month Award. Blair enjoys playing softball, cheering, hunting, and being a good role model for others. After high school, Blair plans to attend Florida State University to earn a nursing degree. Blair is escorted by her father, Timmy Manat. <laughs> Representing the ninth grade is Miss Kylie Hatton, daughter of Tammy and Trent Hatton. She is a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panther track and softball teams. Kylie is an active member of the Clinch County FFA and Fellowship of Christian Athletes. She is also a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Beta Club and Fellowship of Christian Athletes. 
Kylie has been a member of the Glinch County High School student government, serving as her class president for the past two years. She has also been a homecoming representative for two years. She enjoys hunting, fishing, and playing softball. After high school, she plans to attend Valdosta State University to pursue a pre-med med degree before transferring to medical school. Kylie is escorted by her father, Clinch County High School Principal Trent Patton. Also representing the ninth grade is Miss Jada White. She is the daughter of Melissa White. Jada is a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panther Varsity Softball, Basketball, and Track Teams. She was a member of the Clinch County Junior Beta Club. Jada enjoys playing sports, especially softball, painting, and spending time with family and friends. After high school, Jada plans to attend college to become a registered nurse. She is escorted tonight by her uncle, Mr. Tim Richardson. Our first 10th grade representative is Miss Josie Bennett, daughter of Heather Bennett. Josie is a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panthers softball team. She is also a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panthers tennis team. Josie has been selected as a homecoming representative for two years. She was a member of Junior Beta and has been a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Senior Beta Club Honor Society for two years. Josie is a member of the Clinch County High School Drama Club and has won multiple Clinch County High School Student of the Month awards. She enjoys watching movies and spending time with friends and family. After high school, Josie plans to attend college and pursue a career as a physical therapist. Josie is escorted tonight by her papa, Mr. Curtis Bennett. Representing the 10th grade is Miss Ashlyn Stalby. She is the daughter of Byron Stalby and Queen Metz. Ashlyn is a Clinch County High School varsity cheerleader. She received the Clinch County High School Student of the Month Award. Ashlyn attends church at Argyle Place of Blessings. Ashlyn enjoys singing, spending time with friends and family. After high school, Ashlyn plans to attend college and pursue a career as an emergency room technician. Ashlyn is escorted tonight by her father, Byron Stalby. Our first 11th grade representative is Miss Jelena King, daughter of Heather King Wilson and Roger Cooper. Jelena is a third year Clinch County High School varsity cheerleader where she earned the most spirited cheerleader award twice and most valuable. She is also a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panther tennis team. Jelena has been a member of the Clinch County High School student government for three years and is currently serving as the junior class treasurer. Jelena has been selected as a homecoming representative for three years. She is a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Senior Beta Club Honor Society for three years. As a freshman, Jelena won the Rookie of the Year Award for Beta, earning 81 community service hours in just one year. She has been a member of the Clinch County High School Drama Club for two years and the Clinch County High School Concert Band. Jelena has had perfect attendance her entire high school career. She has earned multiple Clinch County High School Student of the Month awards. Jelena is an active member of the Gospel Tabernacle Church of God in Christ Youth Department. She enjoys cheering, watching movies, and spending time with friends and family. After high school, Jelena plans to attend an HBCU to pursue a degree in medicine and eventually become a gynecologist. Jelena is escorted tonight by her father, Broderick Cooper. Our first senior representative tonight is Jessica Andrews. She is the daughter of Toria Coleman and Trez Van Andrews. She is a four-year veteran member of the Clinch County High School Varsity Lady Panther softball team. Jessica has been selected as a Clinch County High School homecoming representative for the last four years. She has earned mul multiple Clinch County High School Student of the Month awards. Jessica enjoys listening to music, watching movies, playing softball, and shopping. She attends Prayer Garden Church of God in Christ. 
after high school, Jessica plans to attend college to play softball and pursue a degree in criminology. Jessica is escorted by her father, Mr. Tresvant Andrews. Our next senior representative is Ms. Kara Kite. She is the daughter of Erica and Carrie Kite. Kara has been a Clinch County High School varsity cheerleader for four years, where she earned the most spirited award. She has been a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panther varsity softball and basketball teams for four years, and tennis for two years. Kara has earned various athletic awards, including the Most Improved, the Hustle Award for Basketball, the Batting Award for Softball, and multiple sportsmanship awards for both. Kara has been a member of the Clinch County High School chapter of the National Senior Beta Club Honor Society for four years, and a member of the Clinch County High School Student Government for five years. She is currently serving as the president of the senior class. Kara was selected as a homecoming representative for four years. Kara is a member of Trinity Baptist Church, where she is an active member of their youth group. Kara enjoys shopping and spending time with her family and friends. After high school, she plans to attend Wiregrass Technical College to pursue a degree in cosmetology while also attending Valdosta State University to pursue a degree in art education. She hopes to return to Clinch County to teach younger Panthers. Kara is escorted tonight by her father, Carrie Kite. Our next senior representative is Miss Olivia Tucker. She is the daughter of Oliver and the late Catherine Tucker. Olivia is a four-year veteran of the Clinch County High School Varsity Lady Panther softball team. She earned a Clinch County High School Softball Most Improved Award. Olivia has also earned multiple Clinch County High School Student of the Month Award. Olivia enjoys playing softball, hunting, and spending time with her family and friends. After high school, she plans to attend Wiregrass Technical School to pursue a degree in cosmetology. Olivia is escorted by her father, Oliver Tucker. Our final senior representative is Ms. Taylor Wells. She is the daughter of LaVon and Tiffany Wells. Taylor is a four-year veteran of the Clinch County High School Lady Panther Varsity Softball Team, where she received various awards, including the Coaches Award. She has also been a member of the Clinch County High School Lady Panther Varsity Basketball Team for three years, a Clinch County High School Varsity Cheerleader for three years, and a Clinch County High School Varsity Track Team for two years. Taylor has been a member of the Clinch County High School Chapter of the National Senior Beta Honor Society for four years and has received various academic awards, including the Young Georgia Authors Award. Taylor's also been a member of the Clinch County 4-H program. She was the 2018 4-H District President and was on the 2019 4-H District Board. Taylor enjoys playing sports, painting and drawing, and spending time with family and friends. After high school, Taylor plans to attend college to play softball and major in forensic psychology to pr prepare for a career with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Taylor is escorted tonight by her dad, LaVon Wells. This, ladies and gentlemen, is your 2020 Clinch County High School homecoming court. Let's give all these young ladies a round of applause. James, the 2019 homecoming queen, is here to crown this year's winner. Assistant Principal Ms. Susan Porter and homecoming coordinator Ms. Emily Kennedy will assist with the crowning of the queen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the long-awaited moment. Drum roll, please. Our Clinch County homecoming queen for 2020 is Miss Jessica She is the daughter of Toria Coleman and Tres Van Andrews. After high school, Jessica plans to attend college to play softball and pursue a degree in criminology. Let's give 
all of these young ladies another round of applause as we congratulate the 2020 CCHS Homecoming Queen for an escort. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. Good evening, everybody. We're back here at uh, Panther Field, Donald Tyson Stadium, getting ready for tonight's 2A, 2, Region 2A contest. Turner County Rebels coming to visit the Clinch County Panthers. Got uh, head coach Don Tyson here, coach. Big game tonight. Turner County coming in on a hot streak, and uh, they, they seem to be playing well right now. Yeah, they got a really good football team. Got a new coach. Uh, he's brought in a, a new uh, culture, you know, and they've always had great players, and they're, they're playing really good. Y'all, uh, last week it was kind of tough because y'all coming right off the, the COVID shutdown had to play right out of the box and able, able to pull out a victory. And I'm sure you weren't pleased with that, but how was your week of practice this week? It was good. We learned a lot. Um, we've, we've made a lot of changes, um, especially on defense. Just the scheme and uh, personnel, we're moving people around. Normally, you know, you would have that stuff ironed out earlier in the year, but with everything we've had to go through, it, it's just been a little later. Um, but we're ironing some things out, and I feel like we've got some guys in better positions. I feel like we feel a little better about our scheme, and uh, this this week of practice was really good. You know, it's tough when you lose three or four weeks. You know, it, just you're starting to get chemistry and all. You know, a lot of things get changed and different, and. Uh, I noticed you got, uh, looks like Craig might be back tonight. I noticed he was out last week, wasn't he? Plus, over here, when you put that, that 340 run stopper up there, that, that, that creates a lot of problems for the other team. Yeah, that, having Craig, not only is he, you know, a great player, but, man, just uh, making the people around him, you know, it's, it, it, it boosts them up, yeah. you know, having big Craig there. You know, it's like having big brother there with you. Right, it's that, it's that, just that presence, him being there. Notice y'all threw the ball a little bit the other night, and, and it uh, looked good, looked real good. Well, you know, uh, DeLille throws the ball well, and Elijah throws it well, and, um, you know, we've been working on it, and, and sometimes you just miss it, and, uh, you know, but last week it seemed like it, you know, it came together. And, uh, you know, obviously we got to take what the defense gives us, you know, so if they stack it up on us, we got to throw it a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's true. You, know, you got to show them you can throw it, or they just, you know, it looks like they're in your huddle with you. They say close right. to the line of scrimmage. Yeah. But, Coach, I won't keep you. I know y'all getting ready. Big night tonight, homecoming, big week, you know, for for uh, the Panthers and the community, and uh, sure. very important win tonight. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Thanks. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creekbox TV. You know, one of the devil's favorite tools is to tell us we have plenty of time. Like, uh, one day I'll get straight with God whenever I'm a little older, or, or I got some cleaning up to do before I even think about going to church. 
But the Bible tells us in James chapter 4 that we're not promised tomorrow. And in 2 Corinthians, today is the day of salvation. Don't wait. Come to Jesus today just as you are. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. We are live here in Homerville, Clinch County. We're getting ready for some exciting. Hang on, I'm going to step away while they do the prayer. So hang on just a second. All right, everyone. I know it. Tom, Tom's coming in. We miss Lisa. Bless her heart. She uh, she cooked tonight. Mr. Barry and smoked some uh, pork, and we got Brunswick stew, cornbread, potato salad. We got chocolate chess and the got regular chess. Yeah. The chocolate what? I didn't see any chocolate out there. Ain't no more, man. Man, <laughs> you better not show up late to the creek box trader when Miss Lisa good cooks. Good too, man. It's good when the crust gets soggy in the mm -hmm. bottom. I like it that way. Yeah. <laughs> but we're getting ready for some exciting football. I'm Alan Henley. Got my sidekick Tom Kennedy back with us. And Tom, man, Clinch County, Turner County. That's a good looking football team, Turner County. Yeah, has. it is. Oh, okay. All right. Be my Let's number. Put, put there, Tom. I'll put my number. Yeah, there you go. 
I can forward it on to the superintendent. There you go. Yeah, I think you got a little better relationship than everybody else. <laughs> I don't football. know. I might not. <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, I'm the black sheep of the family <laughs> That's sometimes. Right. That's right. <laughs> hey, man, we want to remind Tom's going to read. We got a new school coming up, I think, Tom. Yeah, I'm trying to read it before I read yeah. it out loud. <laughs> I know, I now, if there's that. any words in there, I, you know, I'm silent sorry. letters. There they <laughs> are. Silent <laughs> letters. Get me. <clears throat> All right, this is a message from the superintendent. There's excitement about the new high school that the Board of Education has decided to build. People have asked us for information, and we thought the best way to inform the public is with an interview. Superintendent Lori James will be appearing on Creepbox in the near future and will outline the plans and answer questions about the new school. We would like for you to text us with any questions you would like us to ask about the new school so that the Superintendent James can address that. Y'all can text Alan at, what's your number, Alan? 229-300-8521. Uh -huh. 8521. You can text Alan again at 229-300-8521. Um, and you can do that now, or you can do that at any time. That's right. Um, just because Alan is going to be doing the interview, and we're putting his message, his number up on the screen. But he'll be interviewing Dr. James, and that way he'll have the questions. And Man, we're excited. Um, I'm ready yeah. for new school. Everybody's excited, yep. man. So um, so that's it's exciting coming on. And, and I think that um, I've talked to her a little bit about it, and I know she told me that the, um, I think the engineers that they're – that they're gonna get or um hold on what's up <laughs> got that come on money. in she Ella, needs money she needs money that, i know that look <laughs> God, here's two dollars see see yeah. how far that can get you Ella. i know that look <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Le lexi's giving me that look a yeah lot just of walks in and <laughs> silent looks at you somebody needs some money but um alan i because i talked to her about it a while or not a while back but the other day and she was saying that and i don't know if they've already approved the engineer or what but i think the engineers are getting really involves the community that's right and take and and it's not just one of those make you feel good you can pose a question i mean they really do get involved in the community and um and get ideas because it's these parents that are dropping kids off every day mm -hmm. and picking them up and they know what you know a lot of times they know what works good out that's here right. that the administrators might not see that's right or that an engineer might not see and, and this isn't just a a cookie cutter school that they're going to build they're, they're building it for clinch county and is that going to be k-12 through school is it going to be one building tom or is that i think so that's what, I think I've, so. Heard. I, that's I've, what heard. I've heard now that's i'm right. not an expert that's on it right. I, I, I don't know all the details about it i just from from what i've heard but i i do know that it's not just uh you know some some people come in and they build the exact same school that the town over next to them had and, yeah. and it's like a cookie cutter school that's and, right and and there's a lot of concerns because I've got a concern. I've got a, a you know, Ella's yeah. going to be in sixth grade next year and, right. um, and going to school with a with a senior. And I think that when they talk to the community about it and get their information, it's going to be real. Like my sixth grader won't ever see your twelfth grader. That's right. You know, I mean, and and, and yeah, there's I wonder a, if it's going to be a like a two story. Like they'll have the. No, I don't know if it's two story or not, uh, but it's it's spread that's out. Right. That's it's, right. It's spread well, you, out. We'll separate. Yeah, it's middle separated. That's and, right. um, and and so, but I think they've got a lot of great ideas and a lot of plans, and they are wanting to involve the community mm -hmm. to see what's needed. That's right. What's needed right here in Clinch County, and and that's a that's a plus. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, because, like you said, you don't want your kindergartner no, eating right. lunch with, with with a ninth grader that's or tenth right. grader, and that's not going to happen. No. Um, and I think that you know, there's so many new schools that's been built around that these engineers really know what they're that's doing, right. and and to you're not just building a school. Twenty years ago, you just built a school. That's right. Now you're building a school. This one was built what 1980, <clears throat> so it's 40 yeah. years old. It's 40 years old. You know. So I mean, in, in 1980, they were just building a school. Yeah. They didn't have things like that in mind. They didn't, you know. And so it's um, it's going to be exciting for for our community. I think I'm excited. Oh, yeah, about it. Yeah, man. Everybody's um, excited about it. That's, that's right. Two questions that we want a new one, but we don't want to pay for it. Yeah, taxes. that's right. We don't want to raise taxes. That's so. right, and and I th because that was one of my questions. Yeah. And I mean, I think that right now, there's 
I call it grants, but mm -hmm. I'm sure it's not just a grant. That's right. And, and Lori will be able to, to, to give you a lot more information than that. But I think between that and the splash dollars, yeah. it's, that's, it's gonna, that's yeah. gonna pay for it. That's right. You know, I mean, it's not gonna be coming out of, well, our getting, taxes aren't gonna get raised. Uh, Tom, we're getting to the point where we have, we're, there's a lot to do. Either we're gonna have to invest a lot of money in a used school, mm -hmm. And you still got a, a 40 year old school. That's right. You so, know, uh, you know, that's where I think they've done a good job, Lori and them, saying, "Hey, we need to invest this money and look out mm -hmm. for the future." And they're doing a good job, man. I think everybody <clears throat> in the community is excited. I did ask Lori the other day. I said, uh, what, "What? What's wrong with you? You've got you're in the middle of the Corona <laughs> pandemic. You, every day there's a new. I, I know that those administrators every day." They're faced uh, with a man. new problem that nobody's ever had to That's deal right. with before, That's you know, right. and they've got all that going on. And, and then here we are fixing to build a new school for in every, the middle. For everybody that says, man, I'd like to be a school teacher and get all summer off. That yep. has changed. That's right. changed. That That's has right. changed. That's right. Big time. And, um, and I know that administrators of the, you know, all the administrators have had to jump in and they've done a great job. I think because it's easy to sit man, back I, and be critical I after the right. fact, man, you know what I mean? And I, I've been there before too. Yeah. I mean, you, you, they're doing the best they can, but I think that they've done a, you know, they've done a really great job. Well, people now, uh, they appreciate these teachers now. Yeah. I mean, a yeah. lot That's more right. just, uh, That's right. see how much they do. Tom, it was exciting to have seen you in a parade, man. Yeah. Driving, yeah. yeah driving to the vet. Yeah, the well, that, 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 the, my buddy old Vance <laughs> Hires always lets me borrow that vet, and he he comes out, he brings it, uh, and he's waiting on me after the parade. Yeah, I noticed you can't <clears> drive <throat> over ten miles an hour. He yeah, must have a right. governor down. <laughs> yeah, <you> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no it, uh, but that was that was a nice car. But it was a good parade today. It was, know? man. And that's another I, one of those things. Just glad to have one. That's right. That's another one of those things that they couldn't throw candy. No, they couldn't. You, you know, I mean, they didn't build floats this week. That's right. Um. So it's one of those things again that it's it wasn't perfect, but they yeah, but they had something. That's right. They you know, had something. And and that you know that's just trying to be as as normal as you can you know, and try to be as safe as possible. Man, you and know? They, they they you know usually <clears throat> they have a homecoming dance. They've had to take that away from the kids. That's right. I think. So that's man, right. At least you know letting them have a, a parade. Man, that, that they were excited. There were still a lot of people at the parade. It looked like there was, you know, but but you know, crowd. man, I mean, we we lined up here at the high school, and usually Ella's gotten old enough now that I lined up at high school. But last year we lined up at the um, by Doctor Sam by Doctor Sam's yeah. office. And Alan, but when we were pulling up, we pulled up and had to stop so everything could come out in in front of us. And it's amazing because none of the um, you know the the high school grades didn't have floats. Yeah. But then there's no rec park floats. That's right. Because yeah. nothing's going on in the rec that's park. That's about 12 floats there. That's that's <laughs> a, a lot of the parade. And then that's a lot of the people coming yeah. to watch it, too, because their kids are in the parade. And, um, yeah, and, are we and ready? So, yeah. How long are you ready now for him? Daniel's. Uh, all right, hang on. I'm going to get up. I'm going to count down. Tom, we got 10 <clears> coming when you hear it. <laughs> what do you mean when I hear you count down? Where are you going to count down? You gonna count down from three? All right, we're fixing to have Tim coming on. Uh, Alan. <laughs> All right, welcome back, folks. Field here in Homerville, Georgia, for tonight's 2A region football game between the Turner County Rebels and the and the Clinch County Panthers. We got with us head coach for the Turner County Rebels, Kevius Johnson. Uh, they come in at five and one, playing well. Coach, how are we doing tonight? Y'all are y'all are certainly playing well. a lot of enthusiasm. Some out there in pregame, and uh, it's like you. Got All right, Tom, I think, I man, think we got technical. It, it was your countdown. <laughs> yeah. You started at five and went to two and then seven and three. At, you messed everything up, including the mic. Man, we'll, we'll get Tim to get back with the head coach uh, for Turner here maybe at halftime. Trying, I was looking to see. Well, we, we lost 10 to 12. 
Uh, and Alan, who's that? It's on the screen, the white cap right there. What's his man, name? Man, Mr. Bobby Willis. He has been refereeing for it, ever. His, uh, usually his two sons. Now, I don't see them tonight, but he has two sons that would referee. You're he referee retired winning. two or three years ago. He hurt his neck, but I think he's But he still in gets now. up and down oh, the field yeah. great, man. Great fella. He does the, um, <clears throat> the um, man, what is it? When you go over to Val Austin, they have the convention for the uh, – man, I, it'll come to me in a minute. I'll, I'll think I don't have a clue what you I done got a text from uh, <clears throat> Graham and Renee Bridges, I think. Uh, Tom's watching. They want yep, to give a shout-out to uh, – To their son, Gus Bridges. Hey, this cord. We're getting ready for the football. It's supposed to start at 7.30. I don't know if they're going to try to start it early or not. But uh, what we can do, Tom, we can take a quick break and we can come back in just a second. Yeah, that'd man. be great, Al. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or the perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town. We can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Carrot Collection Event Center in Pearson, Georgia is the premier event center for South Georgia and North Florida. Whether it's a quinceanera, wedding, reception, Daniel, can you reunion, hear me? conference, concert, or other event, Carrot Collection huh? Event Center has everything you need for that special event, including 25,000 square feet of space, a full catering kitchen, spacious restrooms, and stage. Call Chuck at 386-397-3708, Carrot Collection Event Center. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Why buy from the new Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center? We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. That's the Walker Jones way. Plus, a lot of our employees here at Walker Jones have been working 10, 20, even 30 years serving our community. And we'll always get you the best price possible. At Walker Jones Mega Center, we have all makes and models. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center on Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjones.com. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. 
conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creek Box TV. Is Jesus Christ your steering wheel or your spare tire? Sadly, for many, it's a spare tire. We go through life not worrying about the consequences to our actions until we get into a bind, and then we call on Jesus to bail us out. For others who accept Him as their Lord and Savior, He is their steering wheel. They realize as they walk through life, He'll be with them step by step, guiding them to their final destination, heaven and eternal life. Which one is it for you? Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creek Box TV. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creek Box TV. You know, one of the devil's favorite tools is to tell us we have plenty of time. Like, uh, one day I'll get straight with God whenever I'm a little older, or, or I got some cleaning up to do before I even think about going to church. But the Bible tells us in James chapter 4 that we're not promised tomorrow. And in 2 Corinthians, Today is the day of salvation. Don't wait. Come to Jesus today, just as you are. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. 
Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Cara Collection Event Center in Pearson, Georgia is the premier event center for South Georgia and North Florida. Whether it's a quinceanera, wedding, reception, reunion, conference, concert, or other event, Carrot Collection Event Center has everything you need for that special event, including 25,000 square feet of space, a full catering kitchen, spacious restrooms, and stage. Call Chuck at 386-397-3708, Carrot Collection Event Center. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Why buy from the new Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center? We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. That's the Walker Jones way. Plus, a lot of our employees here at Walker Jones have been working 10, 20, even 30 years serving our community. And we'll always get you the best price possible. At Walker Jones Mega Center, we have all makes and models. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center on Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjones.com. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but if you tried our tasty seafood, all of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. Is Jesus Christ your steering wheel or your spare tire? Sadly, for many, it's a spare tire. We go through life not worrying about the consequences to our actions until we get into a bind, and then we call on Jesus to bail us out. For others who accept him as their Lord and Savior, he is their steering wheel. They realize as they walk through life, he'll be with them step by step, guiding them to their final destination, heaven and eternal life. Which one is it for you? Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, 
Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. Roadside assistance and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creek Box TV. You know, one of the devil's favorite tools is to tell us we have plenty of time. Like, uh, one day I'll get straight with God whenever I'm a little older, or, or I got some cleaning up to do before I even think about going to church. But the Bible tells us in James chapter 4 that we're not promised tomorrow. And in 2 Corinthians, Today is the day of salvation. Don't wait. Come to Jesus today, just as you are. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the All right, man, welcome back to Creek Box TV. Me and Tom at what getting that last piece of pie. Tom come running back in the door and about knocked himself out, man. <laughs> You see the Panthers are coming with the good looking uniforms, silver pants. Eric yeah, has got work with his comp. Yeah. yeah. You ain't been hit that hard in a long time, yeah. brother. <laughs> right. That's, that hurts, man. That door about knocked me out. Hey. Good Lord. Man, I tell you what, there's a good crowd here for homecoming, Tom. Uh, probably the best crowd we've had all year, it looks like. People still coming in. The Panthers just followed the fire truck in. That's the first time we've had it. It actually feels like a Friday night football game now. It's dark. It's cool. We'll have to cut the air off at No, half we're time. not either. I'm calling Chad Corley tomorrow. <laughs> hey. See if he can't get me a settlement with Mr. Berry. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Man, I was sitting here looking at some of Turner County's athletes, Tom, and you got 6'1", 230, 6'1", 235, six foot, 250, 511, 227, there's 240, 250, 295, 270, 242, 310, 300. I mean, that's some big boys. There's our best cameraman, Big Brad, register, getting ready. Uh, Jessica Andrews was the homecoming queen tonight for Clinch County. Great, I mean, just as sweet as she can be and a great athlete. Hey, Brad, waving up at the camera. Got them cool locks on. <laughs> um, great softball player. Uh, just a great man, works up there at the subway. She always hooks me up with the, the extra meat when I go in there and order the spicy Italian. I got to give her a shout out. And I know all the girls at the, uh, at, uh, the Huddle House is watching. They said they'd be watching tonight, so. Uh, uh, you awake now? <laughs> hey. <laughs> you see Turner County coming in, man. They'll be in blue pants with white jerseys and orange <clears throat> helmets. Hey. All right, Alan, golly. I want to remind everybody that, you know, we got, we were talking about earlier, we got a new school that's being built, and you're going to interview Lori James, the superintendent, pretty soon. And if y'all have any questions you want to ask, um, text Allen at 229-300-8521, and he'll write down your questions and ask them. That's right, man. Uh, what happened? To 
The Panthers won the claw, uh, won the toss, but they'll receive in the second half. So uh, Turner County, I was trying to see number 70 is one of the captains, Kajuan Hudson, six foot two, 295 pound, and that's <coughs> Craig's about 340. Uh, Craig didn't play last week, number three for the Panthers. Uh, hurt his knee. He's going to try to go tonight. Alan, how many? Um, well, there's some more coming. How many players does Turner County have? That's what I looked. It doesn't look like they've got a lot. Two, 26, 28. About 32 kids, Tom. Yeah. So, y'all get ready. We got Tom, the big screen set up now where he can read. You know, you got all of them to read. <clears throat> Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Mr. Bobby Willis. Thank you, whoever sent that in. Hey, I want, which my mind stays blank. Uh, uh, Mr. Bobby does a great job. And I think Coach Tyson won Coach of the Year. Uh, might have been last year. I think uh, over there, Mr. Bobby's got two sons that they used to officiate. I don't know if they still do, but we got some good officials here tonight. Yeah. The Panthers are getting ready to run through their banner, Tom. And it's homecoming Friday night here in Clinch County. Here come the Panthers. There you go, and a mascot right here with them. Good looking group of kids for Clinch County. We see uh, Coach JD's running to the other sideline up there. He's probably <coughs> got to hold the chain. There's a shot of the band of pride, man. They're doing great. Good little crowd here tonight. You know, uh, what's bad is that they don't sell tickets on Friday night, so you have to purchase yep. your tickets Monday through Thursday. And I think last night, I think that they were selling tickets late. Yeah, Don, so, I, mean, I, I think they're trying to do. They yeah, I saw you shared something. You stepped on my cord. Where are they trying to do all they can do to make sure that the, the fans can yeah, come by Yeah, if you want to come, you can come. Here's Austin Peterson. He's part of the chain gang. Looks like Will Joyce. I don't Austin. know if that was Will Joyce or not, but it looked like him. Some There's of the fans for the Panthers. Brad getting a good shot of him. Turner brought a few over <clears> here. Man, not bad for the for what Turner's we got pretty going good on. Ride. That's right. I tell you what, Turner's a good-looking team now, Tom. There's the cheerleader, yes, Maggie sir. Bell. Panthers will kick off. And we're getting ready for some exciting Region 2A football. All, I mean, the playoffs are starting tonight. Hey, Folk. man, how's Coach Red doing? Man, he's doing good. Coach Is Red it? went back to the doctor. Uh, he's getting better. He's, Of course, he's not here. I don't even know if he'll make it back this year. I talked to yeah. Red yesterday. Man, we got to give him a shout out. To, I need to go see him. I, they were asking about him the other day at the house. Yeah, I Red. Think Charles was. And yeah. <clears throat> I know the kids miss him. He does a good job. Yeah, he does. Panthers will kick pretty high. It's going to be short all the way down. It'll hit on the 25. Number three will pick it up for Turner. I don't have a number three. Let's make sure that's what it was, and it is. I don't have a number for three. I got a number four. So if y'all know number three's name, please shoot me and Tom a text in. Man, I think Turner, I talked to my buddy Adam over in Charlton County. <clears throat> Turner beat Charlton last week 54-6 to six in Turner. Really? Yeah, and he said that uh, this is one of the better Turner teams he's seen in a long time, that they're well coached and balanced. You see they got a big offensive line, and they're going to run an empty set, five receivers. Alan, we got all kinds. Of, you got the big screen up. Yeah, man. Lots of text messages. I'll try to They're get to them in a minute. Run right up the middle, fake a jet sweep, trying to get the quarterback's number. Tom, and that's number four. He's changed his number. That's Damon <clears> Kimball. <throat> and they're going to bring in another quarterback, it looks like. So they're going to bring number 16 in now for Turner, and that is Blanks. A Marion Blanks. And still an empty set for Turner, and the Panthers, no, the Panthers will jump, jump off sides. 
I know Coach Little Winston's had, he's just aggravated. They worked on that all year. And that, man, it's hard. At the beginning of the game, you're, you're anxious. So it is hard right there. That's uh, number nine. That's DeLille. Jumped off sides for the Panthers. That'll give them a first down, Tom. First and 10. Here come the Rebels. And Alan, both teams, I mean, they can't make those minimal mistakes no, tonight. No. Turner with the one back set. They're going to run it right up the middle. He's going to spill it outside. He'll cut back in. He's going to pick up four, five. I think they're going to blow the Good whistle to. now. They're going to give him five yards. Good hard running in there, Tom. Number six for Turner, and that is uh, Elijah Stevens. Turner's going no huddle. There's Coach Winston. You see him calling in the defensive plays. Turner five wide again. Panthers having to stay in a 4-2. Tried to get the Panthers blanks did to try to get them to jump again. We are just starting here early in the first quarter. Now they'll motion back to a one back. Blanks is going to keep it. He jumps over one. Man, Tommy picked up four it, yards. It looks like he's going to be a yard or two short of the first yeah, down. Man. <clears throat> right up the middle. Gonna be that one we got Dalen Spivey watching from Millersville. Daryl right. watching from Homerville. Let's see. Giving a shout out to Corey Ganey. Richard Ellison from Tampa, Florida, watching some Go Panthers, Go CI, ECI Bulldogs, and Go Gators. There you go. There's a pretty good crowd up there tonight, man, Alan. They are. I got seen Bo Gator said, man, mention him. We was out there. Yeah, Bo Gator, your uncle Bo Gator. He was wanting something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Told him there wasn't nothing left. If he wasn't already <laughs> on the top row. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He might have slipped yeah. down. All right, there's Turner. They're going to pick up the first down. He's going to get outside, Tom, all the way down to the Panther 40. That's number four. That is Kimball. Great run there. Man, he is quick. No, that was Stevens. Excuse me, number six for Turner. Here comes Craig into the game now. He's going to try to play on that sore knee. Well, we got some people turning in, tuning in from Turner County, Randolphus, Jordan, Jr. All right, man. We appreciate y'all tuning in. <clears throat> Turner taking their time. Blank's looking over at the sideline. The coach just milking the clock. Turner's had the ball. It's about their seventh, eighth play. Snap. Blank's going to keep it. He's going to roll around the right. Panthers are hitting him. He's going to slip away. He'll pick up four or five more, Tom. Man, good. Just Allen's good hard yeah, running. They are. They are. They're going to give him about. No, we got a flag holding. That's going to bring him back. Yeah, that's going to back Turner up 10. That'll be first and 20 now. The Rebels will back up all the way to the. Mm. The 50 yard line. Now that's going to be first and forever. That, yeah, 22 it. yards, Tom. See one that called holding. He's pushing up. He's doing the push ups over there. So, uh, yeah. I mean, Turner looking blank looks over. They do not huddle, they get every play from the sideline. Now they'll bring a man in motion. No, he's going to fall back to pass this time. Blank's looking. Plenty of time. Good. Good. And finally. Defensive. Carter Who was get that, there. Carter? Yeah, man. He had a little bit of time, but Carter came out of nowhere and got that glove on Long him. Long old arms yeah, just reached there and grabbed him. When he grabs you now, you, yeah. you, you're going to come down. It's about 230 pounds. So he'll lose five more, Tom. So that's going to be third and 27 now for the Rebels. Our second 27, I'm sorry. Turner with a spread formation, one back in the backfield behind the quarterback. Blank takes the snap. He's looking, looking, he's going to throw, throw a fade throw. out that way. It's going to be in Oh, no. good coverage out there by the defense. 
Oh, man, number 23 for the Panthers. That is Christopher Dunbar. Man, it went in and out of his hands. What's that going to be, Adam? Third and yeah. 27, no, I think. Yeah. Third and 27, brother. Turner moving the ball good, and then that one mistake back yeah, them I mean, up. Yeah, Adam, they've had the ball for almost half the quarter uh, now. Yeah. There's 740 to go here in the first quarter. Turner stays in a spread formation. Blank's looking. He takes the snap. He's going to drop back. He's looking. It's going to be a screen. They're going to pick up 5, 10, and about 12 yards. They just dumped it to number six, Stevens. And hoping he could break away. Yeah, Adam, they right. stayed on him and got him down. He, they've still got. <clears throat> Tom, I don't know. They might be going thought... for it. Okay. I don't yeah, know about Blank. Right. There's a shot of the. I see one of the twins, Tom. No, there's both of them. They were arguing over the pom-pom, it looked like. <laughs> and then little Watts. Watts Fortner right here beside them. <laughs> no, they are going to blank. It's the punter for Turner. High punt, not that deep. It'll hit about the 18-yard line, and that's where it's going to end, Tom. Yep. So the Panthers starting off on the 18, Alan. Got a long ways to go, so we'll take a short break and be right back. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. All right, we're back here. Panthers with the ball. They're going to run it right off right tackle. They, Turner said the ball squirted out. Referee says no, it's second down. All right, man. Jonas Gamble says go Panthers. Hope to return before the playoffs. Let's see. That's going to bring up second and seven for the Panthers. Panthers break the huddle. They have a wing to the left in a single wing formation. Panthers are going to run the counter back to the right. He's going to pick up five yards. Good run in there by the Panthers. Good blocking by that line. <clears throat> Miss Charlie says, send Turner County back to the house. Panthers. <laughs> Jeff and Doreen James tuning in from Lakeland. All right. We appreciate that. Larry that. Hillman saying, go Big Blue. And Randolphus Jordan, I think they call him RJ, says, Tatiana Jordan, I love you. All right, so he's man. sending a shout out. To All right, here come the Panthers, first and 10. Man, great defense oh. by the Rebels, man. They tried to, Tiller trying to get outside, but the Rebels would have none of that. He's going to lose about 10 yards, Tom. Big loss. Turner was all over that. 5.30 to go in the first quarter. <clears throat> Salem, what is that? Uh, Second and we I got, can't see. Yeah, we got a fan. It's 25 yards, I think, Tom. Panthers break the huddle wing to the right. We're going to run that sweep to the right. Look out, Grady's going to get outside. He'll pick up seven Eight yards, maybe good hard hit in there by number 12 for Turner. And that is Binyam. Zavod, Zavod Binyam. That's going to bring up third down for the Panthers. Y'all had any, any scores around here, let us know. We can give them a shout out. Panthers are going to break the huddle. Now they flex two receivers out to the left. Take the snap. They're going to fake the run up the middle, and Turner's all <coughs> over. All over him, man. Him. Number 14. AC no, Cooper wants 10. you to call him, but I texted him and told him he'd call him in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. That's Taylor <laughs> on the tackle for Turner. 
That's going to bring up fourth down for the uh, for the Panthers. I got two phones and a screen in front That's of me. That's right. <laughs> and uh, you've got to put on YouTube on one of them because we got a bunch of. I can't. I can't. Oh, he's got it over YouTube's there. YouTube's okay. on, right. on the computer screen. <laughs> All right, the Panthers will punt. Plenty of time. Good high punt. Will come all the way we'll down catch to it the running. 45. Good coverage by the Panthers down there. Great job by number 17 for the Panthers, and that is Keegan Clayton. <clears throat> so Turner's going to take over first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. That one got roll, red, roll from Joy Lee Adams and Betsy Ann and Dakota. All right. From DuPont. DuPont. I know Mama's watching in DuPont. Yep. All right, here come the Rebels now. <clears throat> Turner County with the ball. Put together a good drive. They got one penalty, backed them up, and that forced them to punt. Here comes their second drive. Spread formation. They're going to take the snap. He's going to run it up the middle. He finds a little gap. He's going to pick up eight yards. That's number six, Stevens. Good hard running in there by Turner. Alan, we got an update on Moorhead. How's he doing? Man, uh, I think he's going to be back next week. Next week. Yep. He's got one more week. Yeah. So, uh, I think uh, the Panthers go to Atkinson County next week. All right, second and one for Turner. Going to look there on a quarterback draw right up the middle. Blanks will. He'll pick up the first down. Turner moving the ball again. You can't see. I'm trying to show you a text, man. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got. I got to hold the. Yeah. I got to hold the phone about five feet away from Alan. Yeah. Hey, and you had to do something about his crack screen on your phone. I know Daniel's got to fix it. I think I got a warranty on it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Daniel's done put two or three screens on that thing. You should get you a case. Well, I got one. Lexi bought me one, but I. It, man, if it, if you get sweaty or water on it, you can't use it. Yeah. Number three, shout out. Number three for Turner. Or maybe he's telling us the number yeah. three. What's his name? It's Monterius Norris. Norris. All yeah, right. Just man. call him Norris because I'm sure I mispronounced that first name. Man, we appreciate that. <clears throat> we didn't have him on his roster sheet here. Well, here's our faithful following watchers, Ms. Mr. Bill and Martha Merritt Blaylock, watching from Kingsport, Tennessee. Never miss. They never miss. We appreciate nope. them tuning in. Turner County. <laughs> Somebody says you can tell Coach Red's sick. Their lines are crooked on the field. <laughs> <laughs> hey, about right there, because Red had put a pile of paint down on this field. Yep. Aaron and Erica watching from Old Mexico Road. Alan, there's a deep the pass. Oh, oh off his right in his hands. Man, it was, and that was two Nars, number three, just off his fingertip, Tom. They went back there again, laid it right where it needed to be, just come up a little short. That's going to bring up third and six for the Rebels. 141 to go here in the first. Turner break the huddle. Now they're going to bring one back in. Panthers doing a good job of not jumping off sides tonight. They're going to melt the clock on down there. We got a timeout. Let's see. Must have a uniform. Yep. Malfunct. No. I don't know if they called a timeout. I don't think so. Alan, the, the person that told us about Norris is tuning in from Polk, Louisiana. Go Turner County. Polk, Louisiana. Man, all right. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Oh, Dooley said that about Coach Red in the paint. Yeah. Oh, there's the Panthers. We just brag on them, and then they jump off sides. Number 55, he just <clears> – <throat> well, that's Tyler Posley, so that's going to bring up a third and short again for Turner. Shout out from Radford, Virginia. Third down and one. 
third and one. Tom, it's a big down for the Panthers here. He and Miss Harold Wayne Lloyd are watching at mile marker 20 out, 28 south on 441. All right, little Lloyd, we hope you're doing better, yep. man. Heal up quick. <clears throat> All right, here comes Turner right up the middle. Panthers had him at the line. He's still going to be short. He's going to pick up maybe a foot. Oh, and Panthers, Panthers said he fumbled. And fumble. The referee doesn't know. Nope. One referee says, well, hang on. Adam, we got a shout out <clears throat> to Turner County from Chief Cliff Jordan and the Ashburn Police Department. All right, man. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Yeah, we Ashburn's right on the interstate. We yeah. go through there a lot. I'm Tom Kennedy and Alan Hanley, <laughs> <Yeah>. Chief. <laughs> you get all the shout yeah. outs you want. That's the only Shoney's in South Georgia. South Georgia. That's, that's right. Man, that's know. right. I keep I got bees up around Ashburn. <laughs> <clears throat> man, we hit the Shoney's every time we go that way. All right, fourth and a, about a yard, less than a yard for Turner. Minute 15, clock running. And somebody was asking if the Hendricks brothers are here tonight. I no, haven't seen them. Man, Jamie's still Jamie's gotten married yeah. and won't come back to the football game. There comes Turner. He's going to fake the pass. Blank's going to run it up the middle. He's going to get the first plus three or four more. So Turner driving the ball now all the way down to the <clears> Panther 30. <throat> Well, there's 53 seconds left in the first quarter. So we probably got one more play left to run here, Tom. And Allen Turner County has had possession of the ball Man. most of the first quarter. Yeah, I, I would say nine minutes. Yeah, of at the least first quarter. And just chewing up the clock and chewing up yards. Let's go, Quay, from your aunt Val. Blanks looks over. He's going to drop back the pass for Turner. He's going to throw it um, out. Down did he the, fake it? I what did he do? We can't, he, down. No, he was scrambling. <laughs> Mr. Barry knew where the ball was going. <laughs> yeah, he did all along. <laughs> I thought he'd released it too, but apparently the Panthers had a little bit of pressure on him there, and he pulled it back down and scrambled to the left. And, uh, good pressure by the Panthers there. Second and 10 now for Turner. 21 seconds to go here in the first. We are scoreless. Blank's looking over. They have four receivers to the top now. Trying to get the Panthers to jump. They do that every play. Now they'll motion back in to the backfield. Blank's going to throw a little hitch out to the right. Good job by them defensive backs over there. Great coverage to knock him out of bounds. <clears throat> going to bring up third and 10. 15 seconds to go here in the first now. 42 for the Panthers. That is McCray coming in. He's coming in for Zachary Kaysen. And that's looks like a, a battle, a war right there yeah. on, the, on the line. Fourth quarter. It that. is. You know what I mean? Third and 10. Blanks takes the snap. He's going to fall back. Looking. He's got a little bit of time. He'll look in. He's going to throw it down. He's got him behind. Oh, he'll catch it. Oh, no, incomplete. No, he was out of bounds. Or... Boy, good defensive play. He underthrew it. And I thought the Panthers were going to intercept it. That was no, That's Grady out there for clinch. Then for a minute, I thought Turner was gonna take it away from him. This will be the last play of the quarter. <clears throat> yeah, 3.4 seconds left to go in the first quarter. I mean, this could be a long game as Turner's gonna go for it. They're on the Panther 29 yard line. Now bring some fresh receivers in. <clears throat> <clears throat> Blanks will get the play from the coach. He'll take the snap. He's going to drop back. He's looking, 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 looking. Down the middle of the field. He's got him wide open. He's got open. him wide open, Allen. At the 10, 5, gonna, all the way down, down to the to Panther. One-yard line, Tom. 
Oh, man, what a play. That was a great throw and catch in there by Turner. He was trying to get over to the sidelines, and I think one of the defenders went that way. Left him wide open, Alan. What a play, and Tom, that's going to get the end of the first quarter, brother. All right, Alan, you got to call AC. All right, man. So we'll be back in 30 seconds. All right, folks, first quarter's in the books here in Homerville, Georgia. Clinch County zero, Turner County zero. A very physical football game in the first quarter. Both teams still trying to establish the line of scrimmage. Good defense. Good defense. A penalty or two has is, is made a uh, difference, but Turner County with a long pass going to be down inside Clinch County's five. Looks like it's on about the two to start the second quarter. All right, folks, tune in to get ready. This is going to be a good one the rest of the way. You're not on. There All right, Tom, we're back here on Creek. Well, I have a shot of the Turner uh, County fans that have made the trip from Ashburn. Uh, man, I was I called AC, and he said uh, they got – man, he's trying to get enough kids to play red yep. ball. Football season, they got one <coughs> week left. He, man, he's put it off, put it off. If you want to play and have a season, you've got to sign you up got to sign next up. week. Uh, if you're interested in, please give A.C. Cooper, the rec director, a call at 912-599-0181. And uh, we'll be touching on that off and on tonight. I mean, that's the future of Clinch County. That's it starts right. at the rec part. So, uh, man, Turner sitting great, Tom. First and goal at the Panther 1. Start the second quarter. Blanks, he'll stay in the shotgun for Turner. He'll take the snap. They're going to run it right up the middle. He's hit. Panthers Good gonna stop job. Him, Alan. Great job by Kaysen, number 30 in there for the Panthers. Hit him right at the line of scrimmage and knocked number six, Stevens, back. So that'll be no gain. Good linebacker hit in there by number 30 for the Panthers. Second goal. There's a shot of the Homerville crowd. We got a good crowd, Tom. Yep. Turner blank to bring him in motion. He's looking. He's going to do the quarterback draw. Another good play by the Panther defense. Who got him right there? I don't know. like Twan Gordon, <clears throat> number eight. There's Wayne Lee. What is it? No, that's George Strait. No, that's Wayne Lee. <laughs> yeah, that's Wayne with his cowboy hat on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Thought it was George. Yeah, for a minute. George Strait. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Third and gold. Let's see if Turner's still not the Panther. That defensive line right down in the trenches. Tom, they're playing good down here. They hadn't give up an inch. Here it is, third and gold. Blank's looking over. He'll take the snap. He's going to hand it off the middle this time. He's going to get in. He's going to get in, Alan. Number six, Elijah Stevens will run it over. Good blocking in there. Number 77 for Turner. That's Cameron Parker. Six foot four, 300 pound lineman. It's, it's easy to run behind that. Number 72 over there, Zach Brown. 6'2, 270, 58. All right, Alan, that's going to put Turner County up six to nothing right now. Let's see what they can do with the field goal. And that is number, what's that number? Extra point kick. coming on. And the kick is put down, and it's going to go through. That's number 16. That blanks, he's the kicker also. So, Tom, seven to nothing. Seven to nothing. Top of the second quarter. All right, Alan, we'll be back in 20 seconds. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. 
Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Home Repair. All right, everyone. <coughs> Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got my sidekick back, Tom Kennedy. Alan's messing with me. I said top of the second yeah. quarter. <laughs> At least they didn't call it an inning. There's you some know? pretty cheerleaders for the Panthers. There's a shot of some of the Clinch County crowd. Right. And that is a good shot of the Panther cheerleaders. Half of them play softball, so... Panthers will receive the kick now, seven to nothing here in the second quarter. Turner on top here in the boneyard at Clinch County. They're gonna squib it, it's gonna hit the dirt. The Panthers finally fall on it, about the 33 yard line, so they'll have great <clears throat> field position. Panthers run a kick back last week on Thursday night when we played about 75 yards. So Turner said, we ain't gonna have none of that. Here come the Panthers now. This is their only second possession of the game, Tom. It's been all Turner here in the first quarter. <clears throat> Drake Brown and a break the huddle. He's the center. Panthers. And that wing formation, wing to the right. They'll take a snap. They're going to run right up the middle. 3-4, that's Grady. He's going to break it loose. He'll pick up 10, 11 yards, Tom. Good hard running yeah, there by was. Grady Allen. Good blocking by that Panther line. He just needs a quick, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yep. He, he can fly. First and 10 now. Panthers break the huddle, wing to the right again. Turner had nine men in the box. Tiller's gonna run off tackle over there. He's gonna break loose, good hard hit. He'll pick up about five, six yards for the Panthers. Hard hit in there, Tom. Panthers trying to answer. Now, did you watch the homecoming parade today? I did. I did. I watched did you? it. Yeah, man. You were looking for that candy, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Man, I'm going to tell you something. There was a couple of kids that didn't they know they weren't throwing. Oh, they were they, they had their bags. They were mad. They were giving everybody the stink yeah. eye now. Right. There's a couple of, there's a couple of kids wanting to kick somebody today. There's Grady again up the middle. He's going to be close. He's going to be. Turner said he's, the ball spit out again, but referee says he's down. Looks like going to be third and. What is this, short, Tom? I think you're right, Third he is short. One. Third down and about. I think Austin just gave him a half a foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Panthers break the <clears throat> huddle now. They have wing to the left. Take the snap, they're gonna run it. That's Carter over there on the left side. He'll pick up the first down for Clinch. They'll move the chains. Good hard running, number two on the stop. And now the Panthers Morris. are moving the ball right on down the field. Yeah. It's not easy yards, but they're yeah. getting them. But Tom, they've got, the offense has to keep the ball a little bit. Here comes the Panther defense, been on the field all night. Yeah. Panthers break the huddle again. They have wing to the left. Turner with 10 men in the box. Panthers take the snap. We're trying to get around that left end. That's Tiller. He'll cut up. He's going to pick up about five or six yards for Clinch. <clears throat> it's hard football being played right now. Second and four for the Panthers. Clock running, seven and a half to go in the second quarter. Turner on top, seven to nothing. Panthers take the snap. Grady right up the middle. Yeah. He'll get, no, he's going to come up a yard short, Tom. I thought he was fixing to break yeah. through. Looks like it's going to be third and about two. 
You're right, third and two. I'm sure Coach Tyson says this, unless we you lose a bunch right here, this four down territory yeah. here. He's going well, and they're picking, I mean, just about every play is positive yards. That's right. Panthers going to run it right up the middle again, number eight. He's stretching out, I think, second effort. Got it for him, Tom. Some good hard hitting in there, though. Gordon took the snap right up the middle. And he'll pick up three yards, and that'll move the chains again for the Panthers. I don't know. Irwin, 27 at Co Zero. Early Tony early. Spradley is still messing with us about Snicker Bar last week or two weeks ago. Man, I'm going to have to have – no, we got oh. pie now. I don't need a Snicker Bar. <laughs> <clears throat> I was going to say, I can't go buy us one. Ella took all my money a little while ago. Man, look out. Here all right, running Panthers. hard, Allen. First counter. down, he's going to score. He's going to go. Touchdown, Panthers. Great play call there. They run the counter back. Elijah does. One man will miss him. Oh, boy. He's going to get by. I thought that might have been a block in the back, back for a minute, but I think uh, he he held his hands up right at the end. Yep. So, uh, you see Langston's on the sideline yep. tonight. He's got the Panthers fired up. Man, if Langston's on the sideline, he's going to get you fired up. Yeah. He'll, he'll be standing on the bleachers yeah. in a minute he's screaming at everybody. Suit up at halftime. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> All right, number 24 for the Panthers. Montgomery going to try to point after. Snap, put down. The kick is up. And it is good. good. Tom, we got That's a tie ball game, seven. brother. Six minutes and 40 seconds left to go in the second quarter. All right, Adam, we'll take a break. We'll be back in 23 seconds. Collection Event Center in Pearson, Georgia is the premier event center for South Georgia and North Florida. Whether it's a quinceanera, wedding, reception, reunion, conference, concert, or other event, Carrot Collection Event Center has everything you need for that special event, including 25,000 square feet of space, a full catering kitchen, spacious restrooms, and stage. Call Chuck at 386-397-3708. Carrot Collection Event Center. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and... All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I asked Daniel a question. He scared me to death. He's got three headsets on back there. Tied ball game, seven to piece. Panthers going to kick. It's going to go out of bounds. Let's see if Turner will make Clinch re-kick or they'll take the ball into 35. Let's see what they're going to do. Both teams playing keep away on the special teams. Chase is pointing. I think they're going to re-kick. And he's right. Turner's already lined up, so they'll back the Panthers up five, and they'll re-kick. <clears throat> the Panthers will kick again. What happened? Y'all waiting on me? Well, we had a – they <laughs> kicked it out of bounds, brother. So we had to respot it. Back them up, and we're going <coughs> to do it over. 6.40 to go in the first half, all tied up, seven apiece. Ball to hit at the 31 hop. Turner will pick it up. Good coverage by the Panthers. He'll get five yards, and the Panthers will get him down. Number 17 again for Clinch. That's Clayton down the field. He Good coverage. Alan, who's the chain gang over there? I can't. Well, you got uh, I got you got little Austin. I'm not Austin, but I don't know who the other. I can't. I haven't seen the other side. You know, used to you, you had Shops, Greg Smith. I think they've all retired. Yeah. Uh, Joyce is one of them. I can see Joyce now. I don't. Well, I thought it was too, but I. They're making one minute you think he is, and one minute I'm not so sure. But. Make it Austin spot to put the little clip on, too. Yeah. All right, here comes Turner. They're going to throw a little hitch out here to the right side, and he's going to pick Good up run. seven, eight yards. Might have got a first. 
<clears throat> Good play. Let's see. He's going to pick up. There's five. Man, he got a first down. It looks like good hard lick by the Panthers right there at the yep. number 11. And that is uh, Khalil Jenkins. Good job, number five. Anti Val loves you. And then shout out to James Montgomery. Great kick from Grandpa and Grandma Shelton. All right. It was. It tied the ball game. First and ten. Here come the Rebels now. They stay in a spread formation. They do not huddle. Bring one in motion. He's going to fake the jet. Now hand right it up, up the, the middle. middle. Good defense in there by the Panthers. Big man on the bottom right there got a hold of him. Who was that, Tom? Number, Number 78, 78, Amari Hodges, 360 <clears throat> pounds. He must have smelled like chicken. <laughs> he grabbed hold of him. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Be second nine now for the Rebels. Roll red roll from Tracy and Phyllis Rivers. All right. Turner. It says Jessica done showed out tonight. Number six is your turn. I think uh, that's from Turner County. That's Turner's going to throw it good again. Pass. Got him wide open, Tom. A pick up pick about up the first down, Alan. 15 yards. Trying to see who that was. It was the inside receiver. He just run out five and turned around. The Panthers playing a little off of him. Number 11 will make the tackle. That's Jenkins for clinch. But not before they get 15 yards. Here comes Turner right back down the field, Tom. Halston bent over again. Click. <laughs> Moving. <laughs> That spot the ball for somebody that's halfway. They have to put it halfway to you. clip on. We didn't do that at the right yeah. bar. <laughs> All right, blank stay good job All by the Panthers. Him. Man, they got him. He just didn't have anywhere to go, Alan. Didn't nowhere. Good job in there by the Panthers. They're gonna have a blitz. Trying to see who that was. Number eight. That is Gordon. And I think it was number fifty. I don't know. Yeah, and Marshall, I think, was the other one that got a piece of it. Let's go James and Clay Montgomery from Tommy Montgomery, watching from Georgia Southern University. There's uh, there's Cole. Cole, man, my buddy Cole. Let's go, man. They lost, what, nine yards, Tom? Second Looks 19. Like it. Second yeah. 19. Big play by the Panther defense. <clears throat> Blanks, he'll hand it off on that left side over there. He's that boy's going, quick, Alan. He is, man. That's man, uh, He picked up about probably seven yards on that play. It's going to be, what, third and 12 probably? Yeah, they got a chance now. That was Stevens on the carry for Turner. Turner's doing a great job passing the ball, man. They are balanced, Tom. Yeah. They run, 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 and then they'll dump it off. <clears throat> They've been able to complete in the middle of the field. It looked most of their pass has been in the middle of the field. Y'all stand by. I know we'll go to Tim here in a little bit, I'm sure. Turner, they'll stay in a spread formation. Panthers stay in that 4-2. Blanks, look, he'll take the snap. He's going to throw a screen. The Panthers, Panthers are all waiting over. on him, Alan. Great job in there. That was coached up, number 19. Gonna be fourth and Danny, twelve. Danny, what? Was Fountain? Fountain, yeah. I always call him Fontaine. Fontaine. I think of the yeah. That, uh, the, what's the name of that movie? I don't know, uh, but I know. It's, uh, I, I thought of Fontaine. Too. Yeah, it's a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. That was a great play by Danny, though. He was sitting there waiting on a coach Peterson that coached him up. Coach Jay said, "Hey, screen, screen on third and long." Turner, they're, they're, well, they're lined up. I don't know. No, Blanks is the punter, so uh, he There's can. He he's, he's backed up a little deep. He's going to kick it, though. Trying to get it to fall dead inside the 10. He's got a good roll. And oh, they get Allen, it. he got no, it. Oh, man, Grant, he took him down in the end zone. He couldn't man, stay I out of the end was, zone. I thought he had it on the about, ground on the one. It looked, but, I mean, I guess you've got to stay. 
They said he broke the mm. goal line, so the Panthers will have it, what, on their own 20 now. 20, that's that's big for the Panthers, yeah. not getting the ball on the Man, one and being on 20, about? but not. So we are all tied up, 7-7, seven to seven, 233 to go here in the first half. Great game here. There's some of the Homerville crowd. There's, There's uh, Stephen Tinsley, yeah, the new sheriff in that's town. That's right, Stephen. Panthers break the huddle. They're going to flex out two receivers up to the top of your screen. Wing to the left. Panthers going to roll that way. He'll cut back up. Good defense in there by Turner. <clears throat> Trying to slip away. Number seven there. We'll pick him up, and that is Walker. <clears throat> Clock running now, 2.15 to go here in the first half. Y'all hang around at halftime. We'll, uh, the band of pride will play. Well, and I've heard they've been doing pretty good. They've been doing good, man. They have. I know I they've been say working. pretty good. I mean, I've heard some great things about the band. They've been working hard and doing a good job. You can ride by here every afternoon. They're practicing out in the field. Panthers take the snap. They're going to run it right up the middle. He's going to pick up about six yards. It'll be third and one for the Panthers now. Clock running, 140 to go in the first half. There's Miss Pam Tyson, Miss Carla, Coach Tyson's wife. Third and about, oh, it looks like two now, Tom. Panthers take the snap. Carter, he's going to lean forward. Did he get it? See where they're going to spot it at? Man, good hard running. That's 230 pounds. Carter stretching out. I think he got it, Tom. What's going on? I have some blocking downfield. Yes, sir. Panthers going to call timeout. I think <coughs> one fifteen to go here in the first half. All right. We'll be back, out in 30 seconds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! All right, there's a shot of Turner County's pretty cheerleaders, Tom. All fired up. So, uh, Panthers will call a timeout. I don't, is that the first timeout of the I first half? Was, I think, well. Tom. Homecoming night here in Homerville. Jessica Andrews was named the homecoming queen. Yep. So here we go, 115 to go in the first half, all tied up, seven apiece. Panthers break the huddle, wing to the right. Turner with 10 men in the box. Carter looked, he's gonna step back to throw it. He's gonna throw a deep ball, got him out there, jump ball, Turner will intercept it. Number 13 for the Rebels, that is Keonve Clark. He's trying good, to hit that good one. Good coverage by Keontae Allen. Yeah, man, it was just uh, just jumped up there and took it. They were waiting on that play, so a minute five to go. Yep, that's right, Allen. It's seven and seven. Clinch gets the ball to start the second half. Turner's going to try to get Tom at plenty they got of time. A minute, and yeah. they got three timeouts, Allen. You know, Blanks has thrown the ball well tonight for Turner. Here come the Rebels now. They're in a spread formation. Coach is calling the play. They do not huddle. They're going to move all the Everybody receivers. In motion. Yeah. Blanks takes the snap. He's looking, looking, looking. He's going to get rid of it. Throw it downfield. The Panthers intercept it back. That's Grady. Isn't it number six? 
No, that's number five for Clinch. There's and a flag on the play, Allen. A Mazzy and Williams. And some pushing going on. I think there was a, what happened? A, oh, a, cl a, a clip. Number 72. Yeah, that was a clip. So that's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Hit one of the Panthers in the back. That's big for the Panthers. So that'll move it all the way from the 32, about midfield, Tom, with 52 seconds. So the Rebels turn it over right back to the Panthers. Let's see if, you know, Clinch is going to be sitting pretty good Man, at Clinch midfield. Clinch has two yeah. timeouts left, Alan. Yeah, I know it, man. We could. Uh, 52 seconds left. Coach Tyson's going to try to get some points right here before halftime. It'd be great to get some here. You get yep. the ball to start the second half. All the way down to the 47-yard 47 47. line. 47. Good play by that Panther defense in the secondary. <clears throat> Clinch takes the snap. They're going to fake the counter. Grady will keep it around the right end. He's going to Tried to make one minute. great play in there by number 72 for Turner. That is Zach Brown. He's he blocking over on that end too, Allen, and just couldn't get away from him. Zach, he hadn't been off the field yet, number 72. Plays on that offensive line for Turner also. Panthers will run the counter back to the wide side of the field. Look out. Got there some goes the Allen. Down to the 30, 25, 20, out of bounds at the 19, I think. Well, that gives the Panthers good run by Mozzie. Great, a smart play to get out of bounds. Yeah, get keep out of your, bounds. Keep, keep your timeouts. It's got 20 seconds left to go on the clock. Panthers have two timeouts. Two timeouts. You can probably run four plays, probably, yep. Tom. It's like now Turner's wanting the timeout. Turner's going to take a timeout. So we will, too. Adam, we'll be right back. Why buy from the new Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center? We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. That's the Walker Jones way. Plus, a lot of our employees here at Walker Jones have been working 10, 20, even 30 years serving our community. And we'll always get you the best price possible. At Walker Jones Mega Center, we have all makes and models. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center on Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjones.com. There we go. We back now, Tom. Great game here. If y'all have any scores around the area, please text them in to Tom yep. so we can get them out. Uh, seven to seven here in Clinch County. These two teams, Tom, about even it looks like. First half, that's why we're all tied up. Panthers trying to add on right here before half and they'll get the ball to start the second half. Panthers break the huddle. They have two receivers up top. <clears throat> Carter will take the snap. Oh, Panthers put it on the dirt. They'll have to use a timeout right quick like. 25 will fall on it for Clinch. That is Marvin Ganey. 13.8 seconds to go. Tom, I, I never that never got off, I don't think. So uh, Panthers with a timeout. Man at home coming here in Clinch County. Tom, y'all been deer hunting? No, nah, man, I, I've been, all I've been doing, Alan, is working. I hadn't had a chance to do much hunting, but I think we're gonna go in the morning. Alan, this is when we need one of those. I'm telling yeah, you, Barry's got to get us a. <laughs> God, if Barry will get a, we, we, we got to get a, a, right. a, a TV that where we can draw and yeah. do, and then everybody can see what we're That's drawing. That's right. Mm. I'm surprised I hadn't marked on the screen with the ink pen. There's a shot of the that Coach Rants, Coach Tyson, and Coach Richardson out there with the offense. Trying to get some points right here before that. That what the Panthers have one timeout time left. Yeah, I think so, Alan. I wonder how far we can <clears throat> kick it 
Montgomery's got a pretty good foot, I think. Yep. Love to get about 10 more yards. Second 10 for the Panthers. Wing to the right. Carter takes the snap. He's rolling that way. He's looking. He's going to step up there all over him and get rid Got of him, it. Man. They sacked him. Panthers will lose it all the way back to their 28 With yard nine, line. Four. 4.9 seconds left to go. I guess the, Pan the Panthers calling a timeout. Yeah, that's their last one. Yep. Carter was trying to get away from it to not take the sack, but uh, great job by that Turner defense. Big down there, Tom. This should be about the last play unless we have a penalty. Y'all stick around at halftime, man. We got the band of pride. For the Panthers, I don't think, man, Turner's usually got a great band. I don't think they Did travel. they travel? I don't know. I hadn't heard them. They usually they play the whole game. Uh. All right, it looks like, Alan, the Coach Tyson's got them huddled up and they're coaching them up. Looks like he's calling the play, telling them what to do. Yeah, man, it's cooled off, too. It's not as hot. I would expect he's probably going to throw a bomb right here. I'm telling you, he's probably saying throw yeah. it to the end zone. So 4.9 seconds to go here in the first half. All tied up, seven apiece. Panthers in a spread formation now. Yeah, Coach Tyson's calling in the play. Yeah, he's telling him to... <clears throat> <clears throat> and Turner's going to call a time. That's the first time the clinch had been in a spread. Turner said, hey, wait a minute. They're not in the single wing. Let's get in yeah, something out. Yeah. So <laughs> Turner's got, Turner still has one timeout left. That's right. So uh, that's smart play by Turner. Got the water boys down there. Oh, man, how's little Allen doing after the dogs, man? I, the dogs, I... Last week, they come out, man, played good. Uh, just yeah. Alabama, just a little bit better. Yeah. Just a I little think, bit better. All right, man, we've been working so much trying to get through spray and get ready to plant some pine trees. He, um, He's not into it this year like he has been in the past. They well, ain't gone I mean, any games. Well, and, you can't tailgate yeah, no more, that's man. Right. I mean, that, that, that takes all the fun out of it, I'm sure. I think he's giving Lily and Katie his tickets for most of the game, home games and – he and Thomas and Taylor hadn't even been up there yet. Well, I'll tell you, I'm uh, glad let's see what Coach they Tyson's are got called right here. They are staying in that spread formation. DeLeo will be a quarterback <clears throat> for the Panthers. Take the snap. He's looking, looking. Here comes Turner. He's got to pressure, get rid of Alan. it. Got to get rid of it. Him down. Drag him down. He didn't have no time. It's going to end the second quarter, Allen. Tied up. Turner County, seven to seven. So we'll, y'all stay tuned for the Panther Band, Band of Pride, and we'll be back after halftime. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. All right, folks, halftime here in Homerville. Tight ball game. Visiting Turner County 7, homestanding Panther 7. It's been one heck of a half. Very physical. Very physical. Uh, 
two pretty even match teams, pretty uh, swapping lines of scrimmage. Uh, it's, it's been a good one to watch. I'm sure it's kind of tough to coach it, but it's been a good one to watch. I tell you what, you know, uh, coming in this game, it's all to talk about. Clinch County not playing well. They miss practice. They miss games due to COVID. I told my kids all week that this place is tradition rich, and it don't fade overnight. So I knew we would get their very best, and that's what you're seeing tonight. So I'm going to go in here and talk to my guys. Uh, it, it's clear that being a 7-7, whoever wins the second half is going to win the ball game. So I, I just look for us to compete and finish this game strong, and we'll let the chip fall where they're going to fall. That's right, Coach. I appreciate your time. Good luck. Right, thank you. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV.
Is Jesus Christ your steering wheel or your spare tire? Sadly, for many, it's a spare tire. We go through life not worrying about the consequences to our actions until we get into a bind and we call on Jesus to bail us out. Or others have accepted Him as the Lord and Savior. He is their steering wheel. They realize as they walk through life, He'll be with them step by step, guiding them to their final destination, heaven and eternal life. Which one is it for you? Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creekbox TV. You know, one of the devil's favorite tools is to tell us we have plenty of time like uh, one day I'll get straight with God whenever I'm a little older or or I got some cleaning up to do before I even think about going to church but the Bible tells us in James chapter 4 that we're not promised tomorrow and in 2nd Corinthians today is the day of salvation don't wait come to Jesus today just as you are at Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. 
Carrot Collection Event Center in Pearson, Georgia is the premier event center for South Georgia and North Florida. Whether it's a quinceanera, wedding, reception, reunion, conference, concert, or other event, Carrot Collection Event Center has everything you need for that special event, including 25,000 square feet of space, a full catering kitchen, spacious restrooms, and stage. Call Chuck at 386-397-3708, Carrot Collection Event Center. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Why buy from the new Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center? We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. That's the Walker Jones way. Plus, a lot of our employees here at Walker Jones have been working 10, 20, even 30 years serving our community. And we'll always get you the best price possible. At Walker Jones Mega Center, we have all makes and models. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center on Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjones.com. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. Is Jesus Christ your steering wheel or your spare tire? Sadly, for many, it's a spare tire. We go through life not worrying about the consequences to our actions until we get into a bind, and then we call on Jesus to bail us out. For others who accept Him as their Lord and Savior, He is their steering wheel. They realize as they walk through life, He'll be with them step by step, guiding them to their final destination, heaven and eternal life. Which one is it for you? Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. 
roadside assistance and travel assist for one year. You're watching Creek Box TV. You know, one of the devil's favorite tools is to tell us we have plenty of time. Like, uh, one day I'll get straight with God whenever I'm a little older or or I got some cleaning up to do before I even think about going to church. But the Bible tells us in James chapter... All right, folks, welcome back. Getting ready to start the second half here in Homerville. Tight Region 2A football game, Turner County 7, homestanding Panthers 7. Very physical first half. Uh, not many chances offensively either way. It's pretty even, evenly matched. Uh, got Coach Don Tyson here going to talk a little bit about first half and some adjustments they're looking to do in the second half. It's a physical game, man. It's a line of scrimmage game. Um, a lot of running, you know, uh, slowing the game down, not many possessions. So, uh, man, when when we've got plays, we got to capitalize. You know, we left some out there that, that first half, and it makes me sick. But, you know, we got to move on. we got to make them happen this second half. Right. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty pretty tight, even ball game. And, Coach, I know you all got to go get ready for the second half. Good luck to you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey, fella. All right, there we go. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Tom Kennedy. He's finishing up Miss Lisa's Brunswick's too. Don't say you wouldn't have told on me, man. He's the only man I know that eats dessert first, then eats. This is the third course. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you don't eat dessert first around here, you might not get it. That's exactly right. Hey. hey. But, Tom, we got a great game here, homecoming for Clinch County. You just heard Coach Carroll and Coach Tyson, uh, and it's just what Coach Tyson said. It's a hard-hit game, 7-7. Seven to seven. Uh, Man, both teams, uh, it's just a physical game. They're about even as they can be. You fix that for me, Daniel? I didn't know what that meant. All right. Uh, but we're getting ready to start the second half here. Panthers will be returning the kick here to start the second half. See Coach Chase walk in there with the defensive uh, secondary coach walking with some of the Panther players. Uh, great crowd here tonight at Panther Field. Uh, you ready now? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> uh, I did miss Lisa. We got to brag on her boy. That was good. He ain't kidding. Uh, you know, I told I, I, you know, before I came to game, I said, I'm going to go to game tonight, not going to eat anything. And then here's all the Brunswick <laughs> stew and the pies and the barbecue. And hey, hey. Yeah, you get here about two hours early when Miss Lisa yeah, <laughs> sends you a text. Um, there's the Panther. Oh, Justin Gainey. Yeah, man, does a great job for the Panthers, man. A shot of the. Clinch County cheerleaders. <clears throat> Tom, man, we got a great game. Uh, Tim was giving me a score at halftime. I think it's Brooks County. It's up on Lanier. 47-42. Uh, huh. Nothing, I think. Uh, if y'all know any of the scores around Brooks, man, they got a great team. Uh, you know, it's bad to have to play Irwin and Brooks back to back, and Clinch County has to do that here yeah. in a couple of weeks. So, uh, all right, Turner, they're going to squib it over the side. Good job by the Panthers to recover it. Man, that was a good kick. Great job by number 17, and that is Keegan Clayton for the Panthers. So, Clinch will start on their own 40 yard line. Nope, they're going to back him up to the 39. So uh, Coach Tyson would love the Panthers to come out. You know, last Thursday at halftime, they run the opening kick all the way back. Panthers look like they found something that worked. They're going to split two receivers out. Turner with nine men in the box. Panthers going to take the snap, run it up the middle. Look out, there goes Grady. Hard, Alan. 
He's going to pick up about nine yards. Yep. No, that was a mozzie. Excuse me, number four. <clears throat> like it's going to be second and one, one and a half. Yep. Good blocking by that Panther offensive line. Coach Eric Richardson has been working with the linemen. Had Langston out there this week, man. Uh, <coughs> working with the line, so glad to have him back. Here come the Panthers, wing to the right. Right up the middle again, he'll go. That's Grady this time, he'll bounce off one. Oh, was he down? I, man, that one referee didn't think he was down. Good balance, let's see right here. Did he go down? Oh, man, it's he must about, have me yeah. in. Good balance in there by Grady. Pick up the first down for the Panthers. So they'll move the chains again. Browning breaks the huddle for the Panthers. He'll get over the football. Clint, wing to the right. He'll take the snap. Green, Grady up the middle. No, that's number eight. Excuse me, that is Gordon for the Panthers. He'll pick up. Looks like another four yards. Yeah, down man. Like, gonna be second and about six. Coach Tyson will take that every play. And the line. Look at that Austin running back and forth. Yeah, Austin's working out hard tonight, having to. That Panther line's blocking up front to start this second half. Panthers wing to the left. They're going to take it. Grady up the middle again. He's going to pick up four more, maybe five, six. He's got the first down, Tom. <coughs> Panthers moving the chains. Good blocking right up the middle for the Panthers. Bridges in there blocking number 58. Brown and well, Kyla Williams giving a shout out to Coach Red. Hope he feels better. Man, he does. Coach Red would love to be here. Here come the Panthers. We got a penalty. No, our timeout. Let's see what it is. Timeout, Turner, timeout County. Turner County. All right, Adam, we'll take one, two. We'll be back in 33 seconds. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home from all right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. Here come the Panthers. They'll take the play. Oh, Grady's going to run off tackle over there on the right side, Tom, and get six yards. Man, I need to control the little buttons to control the head, <laughs> headphones. Yeah. I used to mess with you. I'd turn them yeah. off. That's why I'm commercial, on this I'd, side. I'd, yeah. During commercial, I'd slip yours back <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. That's why I'm always quiet. During the commercials, you talk and talk, and I'm quiet, because yeah. I never know when we got a hot mic. That's why I had the control mm -hmm. box on my side. I did. I used to slip that thing on. Hey. Panthers, they're going to run it right up the middle again. He's going to pick up another first down. Hard running in there by number eight, Gordon. And Alan, the Panthers have come out in the second half. Just Man, they're blocking. Great blocking <clears throat> by that offensive line. They're getting running backs getting second level, and they're just chewing up the yards all the way down to the Turner County 20-yard line. We're tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. Here, nine minutes to go in the third. Panthers break the huddle wing to the right. They're going to run that big power sweep to the right. Good tackle. Number 13 for Turner come up. That's Clark from his corner position. Great job, man. He flew up there. Panthers will pick up three yards. Panthers 
Second and seven now for Clinch. All right, Harris Harris is supposed to send me the stats. All right, here come the Panthers. Wing to the right. Take the snap. That's number nine for the Panthers. That is DeLeo Carter. He's going to run it all the way down to the 10. So Panthers trying to get another first down. He's going to come up just a little short. Third and one. Alan, I've just been sitting here watching the game. I haven't been yeah, I, know I tuned out for yeah. a minute or two. <laughs> here comes DeLeo back the other way. He's Man, dragging one. hard, Alan. And he's going to get in. Got Touchdown. In. He drug three or four from the five. Good hard running by Carter. He was hit at the seven. Tom, look at him and dragging drug him and all fighting. the way. Two defenders hanging on him. Good blocking, good running by the clinch. I was looking at the stats. Panthers had 121 yards in the first half. All of them rushing, and Turner had 101. 48 rushing yards and 53 passing yards. Uh. So that's going to... Right, going to put the Panthers up 13-7 right now. Montgomery with the up. kick. Looks good, Allen. And it is. Going to put the Panthers up 14 to 7 over Turner's County. Seven minutes and 46 seconds left to go in the third quarter. We'll be back in just a minute. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homer. All right, Adam, we're back. Miss Patsy sent me a picture a few minutes ago of Mr. Frankie Kasem. Said if you were to ask him what the score is right now, he'd say zero to zero. <laughs> he's had his ice cream and he's covered up on the couch with his Florida Gator blanket. And you sure that's a blanket, not a shirt? <laughs> yeah, that's a blanket, man. Oh, Frankie, Leave pops man, alone. Oh, buddy, oh, man. He is. He's a die-hard Gator fan. Right. Bless his heart, but. Good people, man. Yeah, he, man, is. he is a die. He's like me. <laughs> it's good to see Frankie. He's out and about yeah. now on the golf cart again, man. I seen him that day at Mr. Phelps <coughs> at the funeral. And Alan, also they're gonna be um, there's gonna be some people at the Piggly Wiggly in the morning with food boxes. All right. Giving out. Panthers good hit kick. down there. Yeah, Alan. good coverage by the Panthers. Let's see number 42 for Clinch, uh, McCray. And uh, what are they doing at the Piggly Wiggly tomorrow? Well, there's a food truck going to be there at 9 o'clock in the morning, giving out food boxes. All right. For just yeah. anybody that's Yeah, I think up. you might have need some. Come All up right, there and get a food man. box. In the morning at 9 o'clock at the Piggly Wiggly. All right. Here comes Turner County. <clears throat> Clinch on top. That's first lead of the night for the Panthers. 14 to 7 here. 740 to go in the third. Great ball game here in Homerville. See Eric Harris walking on the sideline. All right, Turner, they stay in a spread formation. Blanks takes the snap. He's looking. He's going to throw it in the middle of the field. He got it. Great good job. Good pass, good catch. Adam. Man. Down to about the 48-yard line. I think Gordon got his hand on it, number <clears throat> eight. It looked like, Tom, did he tip it? No, no, he never got it. Man, that was pretty. Pretty pass, Allen. One play, what, 20 yards? Yep. Here comes Turner. I tell you what, they can throw the ball pretty good, man. Blank, he takes the snap. He's going to throw a little hitch over to the right. He's going to turn it up, and he'll get five yards. Number 15 for Turner. That is Jones. 
Jacoron Jones. Second and five for the Rebels now. Clock running. Under six minutes to go here in the third. No, under seven minutes. Six oh, minutes I'm and sorry. 45 yeah, seconds. You're right. Clinch up 14 to 7 over Turner County here at Donald Tyson Field. And it looks like you're going to call a timeout, Allen. All right, if they will, we will too. We'll be back in 27 seconds. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Carrot Collection Event Center in Pearson, Georgia is the premier event center for South Georgia and North Florida. Whether it's a quinceanera, wedding, reception, reunion, conference, concert, or other event, Carrot Collection Event Center has everything you need for that special event, including 25,000 square feet of space, a full catering kitchen, spacious restrooms, and stage. Call Chuck at 386-397-3708. Carrot Collection Event Center. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia, has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and... Tom. Yeah, Alan, it looks like somebody for the Panthers is down. Man, what is it, his knee or something, Tom? Man, hope it's nothing serious, but all the coaches are out there. I think they're going to get him up now. So what number it is. Ooh, is that Delil number nine? That is Delil. Oh. Man, Panthers can't afford to lose him. 240 pound. He's a There's my buddy Lee Lane out there. Uh, looks like they got the stretcher out there. I think Delil's saying he don't want that. He's going to walk to the sideline. He's a tough kid. Mm. I'll tell you what, Coach for Turner County has turned this program around. Oh. You're talking about he's the, I'll tell you <clears> what, <throat> in a couple of years, Turner, nobody's going to want to play Turner. No, uh -uh. Delil coming back. You see a Coach Tadpole there. Well, he's holding his shoulder. His shoulder might be out of. Oh, Might have popped out the way he's man. holding it, hanging it down there, Alan. Oh, boy, and you're talking about hurting, Tom. <clears throat> mm. That'll make you write a bad check now. I, <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, here comes Turner. Second and five. And man, DeLille plays hard. I, I, mean, I mean, it doesn't matter offense, defense. I mean, he plays hard. All right, Blank's looking over the offense. He's going to take the snap. He'll give it right up the middle, number six, and he's going to pick up three yards. That is Stevens on the carry for Turner. So it's going to be a, about third and two, Tom. And Alan, Ashley, your name said, let's go Panthers from the Homerville Huddle House. All right, Ashley, I got to give her a shout out, man. I got my club sandwich last night. Got Mama a waffle. They hooked us up. I'm going to keep on till I flip yeah. over backwards in this chair. H. I'm going to get buried on, on Workman's Comp for us over with. Harry Wayne and Little Roy is watching the game. Uh, They're watching the Panthers. H.W. is explaining what's going on. I hear you. Little Lord knows exactly what's going on. You Tell him I'm get... contacting Chad Corley in the morning. <laughs> yeah. hey. The snap. They're going to try to run up the middle. Good job by the Panthers. They're getting behind the line. <clears throat> Number, what is that, 19 for Clinch? That is great job, and that is Fountain. Uh, need to ask Cal when we was playing in Pearson our senior year, and uh, we was running down there on the kickoff coverage team. <laughs> That's what Howie wanted him glasses, man. And we went down there, and 
Howing just killed somebody, but there was a penalty. Boy, it was a hard hit. How are we? Man, dang, we got to do that all over, over again. again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's over there in Pearson. <laughs> hey, little Lord, he big number 74, I think, was Our Wayne's number. <laughs> hey. All right, here come. They're going for it on fourth down. Blank's trying to get to the first down. Murray's going to get it. Plus two. I think he got it out. Yep. All the way down to Panther 38 yard line. So you can look, the Turner's not going to punt unless they lose some yardage here. All right, 446 left to go in the third quarter. Panthers are up 14-7. We'll get Coach Carroll in a minute on the sideline to see uh, yep. what's going on with DeLeo. All right, here comes Turner. They stay in that spread formation. Blanks takes the snap. He's looking, looking, looking. Got time. He's going to get away. Wow. And he'll dump it off. Ooh, that might yeah, have been a late man. hit right here, Alan. And there it is, yep. Tom. It was. You're right. He was down. Oh, and that Came was. Came in with his helmet. Mm, that's going to be a 15-yard penalty, Tom. That'll move it all the way down to the inside the 20-yard line. <coughs> Personal foul. <coughs> so here's Turner right back down the field trying to tie this thing up, Tom. You know, the Panthers, I think that's the third penalty, the best game of the year by far for Clint so far. Yeah. You know. All the way down to 19. Turner stays in the spread. We got a new quarterback. That is Stevens at quarterback. He takes the snap. He's going to run right to the right side. Good Boy, hit. He's hit hard, but he's still he's going to pick going up out, another that yard. Was a good solid hit by the defense. Man, it, he did. He hit him. He's going to get five. That's number 19 again, and that is Fountain. Man, he come up and stuck him, but not before uh, Stevens picked up about five, six yards. Here comes Clayton into the game for the Panthers. <clears throat> Turner stays in the spread. Oh man, Panthers offside. Number 55, I think is the one that was called on. That is Posley. That's going to give them a first and gold here now, Tom, inside the 10-yard yep, line. Inside the 10-yard line, Allen. Three minutes and 41 seconds left to go in the third quarter. <coughs> I guess that puts us in the bottom of the third. In the bottom <laughs> of the third. Yeah, we're past six minutes. Yep. <laughs> Turner's led their run. They want to milk <clears throat> it down and... Blanks back in at quarterback now for Turner. He's going to take the snap. He's going to run around that right end. He'll cut up. He'll get all the way down to the five-yard line. So he'll pick up four yards. Good blocking by that Turner County offensive line on that right side. Big 77 in there for Turner. That's a Parker. <clears throat> 70. That's Hudson. 72 is uh, Brown. 62. That is Pierce. Good blocking on that side. Turner again with the spread. Blank's going to run it up in there again. Oh, he's hit hard, but he'll spin down to about the two, Tom. Well, yeah, P, I think he was going to try to throw the ball, but he had pressure coming in on him from the Panther defense and had to take it and run. It's going to be third and goal, Tom, at the two-yard line. So they're going to go for it. I would say yeah, they would, got two yeah. downs to get two yards. <clears throat> Clock running, 220 to go into third. Blanks looking over the ball. He's going to take the snap. He's looking again. He's going to run it. This they time got the Panthers him behind got him. 
Big play in there by number 54. That is Massey. DeMonte Massey for the Panthers. He wrapped him up with them big arms and pulled him down all the way back at the five yard line. Man, he got a good spot, Tom. They spotted about the four. Turner's going for it, it looks like. Big play, biggest play of the night right here, Tom. Yep. <clears throat> Minute 36. Man, it's gonna do wonders for the Clinch County Panthers if they can stop Turner County right here. <clears throat> Turner staying a spread. Blanks, he takes the snap. He's going to hand it off to oh, Six. Great no, job. They had him out of line. And they're they holding. Hold Good him. job I'm... by the defense. Big Craig Harris in there with a tackle. Man, good job. The corner come from the other side and got him first. Number two, Perry Williams come crashing in and slowed him up. And Craig Harris will clean it up for the Panther defense. All right, Allen. Panthers take over. Man, I don't know what the three yard line. Yeah, they're on their own three. Great job. Turner drove it all the way down to the one yard line, Tom. Yep. Panthers hold it. So now they need to move this ball. Oh, they don't have the offense. I think we're missing a few. Eight, nine, yeah. 12 seconds. Yep. Coach Tyson's going to have to burn a timeout. All right, Alan, we'll take one, two. We'll be back in 20 seconds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Tom Kennedy with me. And we're doing some great Region 2A football here, Class A. See some of the Turner coaches up on the box, the other side of the field. Mm. All right, Alan, old Joey Rich takes in Irwin County 50 at Coast Zero mm. in the fourth with a running clock. <clears throat> Irwin turning it up. Mm-hmm. Panthers with a great defensive stance down here on the goal line. Now they need to get out. Good hard run in there by Grady. He'll move it all the way out to the six. So he'll pick up three yards. Turner would love to keep Clinch backed up, make him punt out the end zone here. Clock running, now we're at 52 seconds to go here in the third. Panthers on top, 14 to seven. Clinch will break the huddle, wing to the right. Turner, 11 men in the box. Panthers with a snap, Grady again. Turner wrap him up at the line of scrimmage. He might've got a yard. Good play in there by number 12 for Turner. That is uh, Zavad Bynum. Say that one more time. Zavad Bynum, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> okay. 22 seconds left to go in. Silent letters, Tom. Yeah, silent letters. <laughs> That's what you need to do when you yeah. interview the superintendent. Yeah. Is get her to give you an English lesson. Well, see, I agree. On those silent letters. Miss Groover. Yeah. You know, she said, baby, if I can read it, I won't take off. <laughs> She yeah. felt sorry for you. Yeah, for, exactly. <laughs> if I can read it, I won't take <laughs> off. All right, Alan, we're going into the fourth quarter. Panthers up 14 All to right, 7. All right, folks, here we are. Beginning of the fourth quarter. Clinch County 14, Turner County 7. Clinch took the second half kickoff and drove down the length of the field and scored. Turner County answered with a long drive. Got first and goal from the nine, but Clinch County held on fourth down. Very physical game, very physical game. Clinch is taking over right now, trying to get out of the hole. But we played three here in Homerville. Clinch County's 14, Turner County 7. 
Why buy from the new Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center? We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. That's the Walker Jones way. Plus, a lot of our employees here at Walker Jones have been working 10, 20, even 30 years serving our community. And we'll always get you the best price possible. At Walker Jones Mega Center, we have all makes and models. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center on Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjones.com. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box TV. You're Tim Carroll. It is a physical game. Number nine, DeLille Carter is still on the sideline. Uh, he's injured, so uh, we'll get an update. Coach Carroll's trying to find out what's going on, so quick as he finds out, we will. Third and five. Third and five. All right, fourth quarter time. This is Here we go, counts. Alan. Top of the fourth. There's a little Jay. Yep. There's uh, George Strait again. Oh, Rhett Barber behind him. All right, here come the Panthers. They're going to try a good job. They got him behind got the him. line. Oh, he almost, Amazi was trying to slip away. Great defense in there by Turner County. Man, he lost his battle right there. He might have got close. Tom Panthers going to have to punt now, fourth down. <clears throat> from their five yard line. So that'll put the punter in the end zone. Let's see if Turner says, look, we're just gonna get good field position. You don't wanna have a run into the punter here and get automatic first no. down. I'll tell you what, if I was rushing, I would not run in the middle right there with Big <laughs> Amari Hodges filling in that hole. Snap, you're gonna put it down. Good, good punt, punt man, Alan. all the way out to the 38 yard line. Great pump by the Panthers. There's a shot. Some of the crowd, there's Dale. There's looking around. There's Rhett, there's you, the superintendent. Yep, Dr. James. Lori James. There's a Rance's wife. <laughs> They're having a, a deep Winston. conversation. Yes, They've got the ball game figured yeah. out. They didn't need the headsets on. Those They're, two they, got the, they have the ball game figured out. Talking in sign language. There's a. Lansley and Kara. Kara, Miss Kara, she does a great job. She helps Creek Box out all the time. You see little Austin up there. Mm -hmm. Announced to the game. Man, Kara, she, bless her heart, she'll. She knows how to write it out where I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes Turner County down by seven. Trying to tie this thing up. They stay in a spread formation. Take the snap. Going to run it up the middle. He's going to pick up maybe four yards. Hard running in there by Stevens, number six. You know, Looks like it's going to be second and what about? About second, seven. Six, seven. Yep. <clears throat> so, uh, Stevens will oh, go Chad back. Williford back. says go Panthers. All right. He's a diehard Lakeland fan. All right. Blank for the ball. He's going to hand it off. Nah, he's going to keep he's it on keep a bootleg, it. a keeper, and he's going to get out. I think he. <laughs> He might have come up just a little short. Man, if he'd go. If he would have just dove instead, dove of, instead slid. of That's right. He was yep, third and one. Tom, it was a great play. Fake that he kept the ball around left end. Picked up about six yards, but he's a yard short, brother. Under 10 minutes to go in the game now. <clears throat> Turner, uh, this is four down territory for sure for Turner. They better hurry up. The clock is running. All right, Blank's looking over the offense here. Take the snap. He's going to keep it. They're going to be illegal Flag procedure. Yeah, I don't think they were set. He picked up the first down, but it's not going to count because illegal procedure. I don't think they were set, Tom. Let's see what they're going to call right here, Mr. Bobby. 
illegal shift. <laughs> so that'll back them up five. So now it's going to be third, third and six. Man, that's a big mistake for Turner right there. You can hear Langston down there hollering yes, at everybody. Sir. He's hollering. He's trying to get these Panthers <clears throat> to stay up. I don't think there's still confusion on the Turner sideline. One running in, they running off. I don't know what we're doing. Clock is running. Blanks better hurry up. He does. He gets it off. He's going to throw a little out oh. pass. Oh. He had him out there. Man, they were just rushed. Tom, if they'd have took their time, he had him. Oh, he tried to come yep. back, man. I got to give him credit. He got one fingertip on it. That was number 12. That is uh, Zavard Bynum. And Turner's going to go for it, I think. Or he could quick kick it here now. He right, I don't know, I think you're going. I think you're right. He is trying to draw, draw the Panthers offside. You know, you could punt it here and play defense. <clears throat> They're going to tumble the two receivers back to the top. Blanks takes the snap. He's going to throw it out again. Almost intercepted. And great he catch. Called it. That was this a time great he catch, got Alan. It. Man, what he a just look at this. Threw Tom. it between two oh, defenders. And if number two picks it off, Perry Williams is going to walk, walk to, the, walk end to the end zone. But he didn't, so it's Turner County first and 10, Allen on the what, the 27 yard, yard line? line. So here comes Turner. 8.45 to go in the game. Panthers on top, 14 to 7. Blanks. And Austin. Austin's, he just he's worked he's out. Yeah. With the, he's <laughs> hey, Steven's back at the quarterback now, so he's probably going to run it up the middle. Let's see. And, He's going to try to get to that side. He's going to pick up five, six, seven, seven. eight. Out of bounds. Great run in there by Stevens. Did he get it, Tom? Man, he's close. It looks like he didn't. It's going to be second and maybe one. Man, he is right there. Yes, sir. Austin's getting a workout tonight. Yeah. Between the down marker and the clip. <laughs> <clears throat> clock running now. No, he got out of bounds. They stopped the clock. Eight minutes and 34 seconds left to go. Blanks back in at quarterback for Turner. He takes the snap. He's looking. He's going to throw it out to the end zone. That's going to be a flag. No flag. Oh, it said they tied up. Must have got tied up. I'm sure the Turner coach is <clears throat> happy with that one. But and the ball might. I didn't see if it was close or not. It might have been too high over his head. No, I would have been if it had kept running. <laughs> yeah, third a foot now, Tom. I tell you what, Turner, they don't get in a hurry, do they? No. I mean, I, they line up on the right, then they'll move to the left and come back to the right. And there they go, back to the left. Blank takes the snap. They're going to give it to Stevens right Got up the middle. Got a big hole to run through. Good blocking by that Turner County line. Like it's going to be down maybe to the 11. Big number 62, Pierce, 6'3", 250 pounds. So it's first and 10, Allen, but they've only got about 11 yards to go to the. There goes Stevens. They hit him, and they, man, he still got about three yards, man. Casing in there with a big hit for the Panthers, along with Grady. Let's see where they spot the ball. They said he picked up. Second down about seven, maybe yeah. six or seven. Four down territory. <clears throat> we are under eight minutes now to go in the game. 
Turner back down inside the 10 again, Tom. Panthers are bending. They're not breaking, yep. though. Seven minutes, 30 seconds left to go. Panthers are up 14 to seven. Blank for the snap. He's going to hand it off to number 12. They're going to get outside. He'll turn it up all the way down to the two yard line, Tom. Number 12 is Bynum. So, no, it's less than a yard. It's third and a, what, a foot, Tom? Yep, third and a foot. So they can get a first down. You're right. All they got, they got to get to the one yard line. They're right back down here. Trying to tie this thing up. 6.50 to Man, go in the game. this has been a great it ball has. game, Allen. Back in two. Panthers defense has shut them down since that first drive. Snap. He's going to hand it off. Panthers again. everywhere. Right. Touchdown. I think nah. he got in. Did yeah, he? he did. Yep. They had to come finally, Coley, with three yards deep. That's number six. That's Stevens. Hard running. Good blocking by that Turner County offensive line. 14 to 13, Tom. Six, 34 to go in the game. I want to remind everybody, AC said, if you want to play rec football, you need to get in touch up. with them. That's sign right. up. By next week, you got till next Thursday and Friday. If he does not have Alan, enough, they're just, going, they're going for two. Like they're going for two, trying to catch the Panthers. And Clinch is going to have to burn a timeout. Oh. So, Tom, they did. They, they were trying to go for two in the lead. And they uh, got. Caught the Panthers off guard, burn a timeout. So, Alan, we'll take we'll take a timeout with them. We'll be back in 28 seconds. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley along with my buddy Tom Kennedy. Great game here in Clinch County with the Panthers on top, 14 to 13. 6.34 to go, Tom. Let's see if Turner's going to kick now. They come out, they line up to go for two. The Panthers had to burn a timeout. At least Clinch with one timeout left, Alan. Turner's got two left. And they are. They They're line up go to go it. for two again. They said, hey, we want to take the lead. Blanks looking, they're gonna go for it. He's gonna roll, roll, look at he's gonna throw it down incomplete. Incomplete. Blank yeah. should have run the ball. Yeah, he I had think it. Could have walked mean... in, Tom. The Panthers had it covered great in the secondary. But Blanks, I think, could have got in if he yeah, would have kept I it. I think so too, but great job by that defensive secondary out there. Good job to the Panthers. Man, our whole number. Panthers are up 14 to 13. <laughs> 634 left to go in the fourth quarter. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouthwatering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We got a great game going on here in Omerville. Clinch County on top, 14 to 13. Turner going to kick. They had, they, I don't think they're going to kick it deep. They have it all night. <clears throat> kind of a squib kick, and it's going to go out of bounds. 
See if Coach Tyson's going to make a Marie kick or just take it at the 35. It's going to be a big set of downs for the Clinton County offense. Yeah. They can chew some clock up and uh, flop the field well, position. They got, got one timeout left, Adam. Turner County's got two. Looks like they're going to re-kick the ball. Yeah. As a, I mean, I'd make them do the same thing. That's going to back them up. You got good speed like Clinch County does. You want to try to get it in one of their hands. Next week, uh, we'll be in Atkinson County where Clinch will be taking on Pearson. Yep. Big rival right down the road. All right, Turner's going to kick it again. He'll set up and he's going to kick it. Panthers will touch it. Look at him, he's going to pick it up. Tom, he's trying to get outside. He made the first one miss him. That's a mozzie. Got up to about the 44 yard line, Alan. So Panthers set <clears throat> great. First and 10. They get a couple of first downs. At least they'll flop the, the field. Clock. Yeah. There's a shot. There's you, Bennett. Cheryl. Huge mama and daddy. Good to see them from Maynard, Georgia. I tell you what, Pigler was a great baseball player for uh, the Panthers last year. He was a senior. He come in, man. Felt bad. They had to cancel baseball season yep. and all that for the seniors last year. All right, Panthers break the huddle. Wing to the right. Grady will take the snap. He's going to run it up the middle, and he's going to pick up five or six yards. Hard blocking down there. Big number 55 for the Panthers. And Allen, if he would have gotten by that last man yeah. at Turner County, he would have been off to the races. If Grady can ever get a step on you, he's gone. Clinch chewing up the clock now, taking their time. Oh, we got a text, Tom, despite any other team talent we've had in the past, this Turner team is it. Best we've played clinch in years, and I agree with you. Yeah, Turner County's. Man, they are for real. There goes Grady driving and driving. Still moving. He's still moving. Driving. He's going to pick up an extra 15 after they hit him. Tom, it's in the for fourth it, quarter it, now. It is. Shout out to Marcus McCoy. He is watching the game with his mama and Harrowing. Come up from Florida. All right. Roll Red Roll, Guest Bridges from Daddy and Miss Renee. Look at old Langston. He's Andrew. fired up. I He's mean, fired up. You know, this is the first game really all year where Clinch has actually played with some yeah, enthusiasm yeah, that's being right. fired this up, best, you know. Best game that Clinch has played all year. You know, uh, they, they, they've they had to play uh, Turner. Is, got got off a the kid bus. hurt or is he just resting? Man, I don't know, Tom. Uh, it's been a hard-hitting game all night. I'm sure he's winned it because Turner, they got 32 players. And uh, probably 90% of them going both ways. Maybe his ankle was turned out. Maybe he just cramped up a little bit. Trying to get a number on him. 525 to go in the game. What number is that? Big number 70. Tom, that is Hudson. He's a six foot two, 300 pound lineman. Brother, that's 300 pounds. He's been playing for four quarters. Good, hard running in there by number six. That line for Clinch coming off the ball. This is where you put the game away. Turner coming in ranked in the top and ten. And everybody's fired up, but they got to play smart. Yeah, they can't can't make any mistakes right here. They're all the way down to Turner 34 yard line. <clears throat> Panthers stay in a wing. 
Grady with the snap again off that tackle, and they're going to wrap him up at the line. Big play in there by Turner. That's number 10. Uh, Taylor on the tackle for Turner. Fixing to go under five minutes. Big 72 back in the game for Turner. Or, no, he hadn't been out of the game. Yeah. Big Brown, Zach Brown, he's six foot two, 270 pound. Man, he has played great on both sides of the ball for Turner. Panthers break the huddle. They flex two receivers to the top, wing to the left. They're gonna run to the left. He's gonna lean forward, pick up a couple of more yards. Big 55 in there for Turner, that's Tim Burgess. Looks like it's gonna be third and about oh, six, Allen, seven. Big play for the Panthers right here. Clock running. Turner needing to get the ball back. Four minutes and 10 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Ah, bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth. <laughs> here come the Panthers. Big down here. I think they're going to go for it regardless. It's four down territory. Panthers got everybody in the box now. Grady going to take the snap. He's trying to get around the right end. He's going to get there and get hey, the first, first down. Look out. Almost broke it to the house. Who was that? Saved a touchdown for Turner. Great blocking by that Panther line and all them backs around the right side. Number four for Turner saved a touchdown. That's Kimball. Tom, it, it's the depth is playing mm -hmm. now. That's right. That's all. Turner just don't have depth yet. That Panther line is really working them over here in the fourth quarter, 3.30 to go in the game. Panthers up by a point, 14 to 13. DeLille's back in the game, number nine. It's good to see him back in there, Tom. Panthers wing to the left. DeLille's gonna run it. He's gonna pick up five tough yards, maybe six. DeLille gets up, he's limping on that ankle. Clock is still running, Tom. I want to remind everybody, if you want to play rec football, please call AC Cooper at 912-599-0181. He needs to know by next week. I think he's got about 10 kids signed up. That's all age group. So if you want yep. to play, it's time. We've run out of time. You've got to get it in. All right, here come the Panthers. Wing to the left. Carter's going to run it. He'll stick it up the middle. He's going to get the first. Still driving Still forward. Driving. Man, he'll stay on his feet. He won't go down. All the way down to the eight-yard line of Turner's. Now he's going to come up a yard short, they say. Third, Tom, and what? No, it was first down. I Is thought it? it was first, yeah. First down, All right, Alan, yes, yeah, first and goal. 2.10 to go in the game now. The clock running. Would you say Turner's got two timeouts, Tom? Yep. Uh, he'll have to take it after this play right here. <clears throat> Panther break the huddle. Wing to the left. Big line blocking for the Panther. Good hit Good in there hit by in Turner. There. Behind the line, what number is that? 55. 55. Tim Burgess again, 5'11", 240 pound boy. He laid the wood down there. That's gonna bring up fourth down, Tom. Yeah, and they're gonna call a timeout, Allen. No, he got a first down, excuse me. So it's gonna be second. Can he get a first? No, he no. got to score, doesn't he? So they got one more timeout, 144 to go. Clinch County 14, Turner County 13. I'll tell you what, Turner County, they're going to, you know, that, they're going to turn some heads here. Oh, yeah. Homecoming, and you know, you want to 
Yeah, it's been a long week. Pan the fans, the students, you know, they had a lot of taken away from them this year, but they did get to dress up at school, you know, uh, been seeing everything on Facebook. So kids have been excited, been a long week, trying to come away with a win right here. Shot of the cheerleaders for Clinch County. It's a long time out. Coach Eric saying, don't jump offside. Coach Tyson yeah, and Coach, smart. Coach Renz and Coach Tyson, <coughs> do not fumble the ball. No. <laughs> hold, hold on to the ball. Yes, sir. All right, Alan, it's, what is it, second and 11? Second and goal, yeah, yeah. About 11 yards to go to goal. <coughs> Drake will break the huddle. He'll get over the ball. Panthers wing to the left. Turner got everybody bunched up on the ball. Grady will take the snap. He's going to go to the left. Turner had him behind the line, but he'll right, get he's free. Walk in, Alan. Touchdown. Grady with another score for the Panthers. 20 to 13 now. Good blocking out there by yeah, the Panthers great too, blocking. Alan. Man, it's just come <clears> down <throat> to the fourth quarter and the Panthers have dominated the fourth quarter. Uh, really the second half. Yeah. Tell you what, Coach Winston's got to be tickled with the defense. They've had a goal line stance. Uh, kept a two-point conversion from being made. All right, here comes Montgomery. He's going to put it through the uprights. 21-13, Tom. All right, Alan. Clinch is fixing the kickoff for Turner County. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. Is Jesus Christ your steering wheel or your spare tire? Sadly, for many, it's a spare tire. We go through life not worrying about the consequences to our actions until we get into a bind, then we call on Jesus to bail us out. For others who accept Him as their Lord and Savior, He is their steering wheel. They realize as they walk through life, He'll be with them step by step, guiding them to their final destination, heaven and eternal life. Which one is it for you? All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. We have a shout out. Let me pull it up right here. Shout out to James Montgomery. Great kick from Grandpa and Grandma Shelton. Montgomery's going to pooch it. <clears throat> Turner will come up. Great kick. He didn't want it to get it deep to some of that speed. So Turner will take over. Tom, they can still tie Got the game one up. One timeout left. <clears throat> Minute and 31 seconds left to go. So Got Turner. The ball on the, what, 43? <clears throat> yep, on their own 43. Eight points down, uh, so you can look out. I, 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 for sure, Blanks is going to be in the gun, probably an empty set, and they're going to throw it. Just throw it. And he's been pretty accurate tonight. He has. Him. And they do. They're in a spread formation. Panthers in a 4-2. Blanks looking over at the coach. He's getting a signal. And they'll tumble back. That's happened all night. All night long. <laughs> He'll tumble back to the other <clears> side. <throat> they get set. There's the snap. Blanks is looking. Here comes the pressure. They're going to get off a middle screen. Panthers got him at the line. Was that big Craig? I think it was, Alan. Yeah, he got a, picked yeah, up he two hit yards. It. Yeah. Craig hit him and spun him around. Turner's got to hurry up now. Clock running. Snap, blank. They're going to run a double reverse. Look out, flea flicker. Panthers don't fall for it, and he'll catch it. Tommy picks up, what, a yard? The yeah. clock still running. Third down, 50, we're under a minute. 57 seconds left to go. So it's third and five, 49 seconds. 
Turner down by eight, needing to score. Blank's looking. He's going to throw it out. He's going to catch, catch it. Get it? out of bounds. No. No, incomplete. In and out. That will stop the clock, Tom. <clears throat> it's going to be fourth and what, five? 39 seconds left to go. <clears throat> I bet you Coach Chase's horse mm -hmm. saying, don't get burnt. Don't get, keep everything in, in front, front of, of you. you. Uh, look for the linebackers, at least one of them to blitz here, I think. Fourth down. This is the ball game. Turner has to get a first down. 39 seconds. Blanks is looking. He's going to oh. get a big glove on it. Big DeLeo did. That's going to be the That's ball game, That's going to be game, the ball Tom. game, Allen. Great job by DeLeo coming in at his defensive end uh, and just knocked it down at the line of scrimmage. So that's going to 21 to 13. Clinch has to just take a knee. And, Tom, before we get out of here, I've got to, uh, to give all our sponsors, man, because they're the ones that make this possible. We have Camping World of Valosta. If you'll go over there and mention Creek Box and see my daughters, Skylar and Lexi, they'll give you $500 off a purchase of a camper. And they got anything for about six fifty? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. No. And look, I've done used that. I wanted a grill. It don't, it's <laughs> it don't got work. To you got to be a camper. About a $30,000 camper. You. I got you. <laughs> Dairy Queen and Popeyes, Mr. Ash, we appreciate them. Heritage Bank and Homerville, that's Miss Brooke Allen. Uh, Homerville Jewelers, uh, Huey's One Stop, Pizza and Wings. Lee Engineer and Big K from Lee Engineer and Lutz Brown, Mike's Golf Carts, Walker Jones and Waycross. If you'll go over there and mention Creek Box, you get $500 off a purchase of a vehicle. Go see Big Adam Toy and Burt CPAs, <laughs> Douglas Metal Buildings. Uh, if you want the metal or do you just want to want them to come put a, a building up, uh, call Mr. Earl and Clint Stone and they can hook you up. Carrot Collection Event Center. Go see uh, Mr. Chuck Corbett. They'll rent for weddings, anniversaries, uh, sweet 16 birthday parties, just anything you need over in Pearson. All these people, the ones that make it possible for us to bring it to you at Creek Box. All right, Alan, I also want to remind everybody that pretty soon you're going to be interviewing Dr. Lori James, the superintendent. You know, we're uh, everybody's excited about the new school that's being built. And so um, if you have any questions that you, the community wants to ask, text Alan. There's his number on the screen. It's 229-300-8521. Text him your questions, and he'll be sure to ask um, ask Dr. James about the questions about the new high school being built. That's so right, we, um, man. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, We got anything else to add, Alan? The no. Panthers played, man, a great game tonight. Great game, man. That's Coaches did good. I mean, everybody – played a great game you know panthers come out they're back against the wall the best game by far all year for clinch county man it's homecoming week and there's no better feeling than to win right. a homecoming football game at clinch county you see coach tyson fired up all the coaches man a big win it's a big region win for the yep. panthers uh because now with turner beating charlton and charlton beating clinch it kind of averages out you yep. know only four teams in the region are going to make the playoffs. Uh, that's right. So, uh, Panthers, and look, Turner County has a great program, Alan. That's they, right. They played great tonight. Uh, and I think they just ran out of steam. You they know did. what I mean? It's just fourth quarter. You're fourth right, quarter. Tom. I mean, they, they just, um, it's a small yeah. squad and they just, just ran out of juice. You know, they hit both teams about even. Panthers. Yep. Just, uh, in the second half, uh, they coached them up at halftime. They come out, and the line blocked great for Coach Eric. Man, just a great job by the Clinch County yep. Panthers, man. I want to remind everybody, we will be back here next Friday. We'll be in Atkinson County. Y'all tune in about 645. And, uh, Tom, I enjoyed it, brother. All right, I did too, Alan. We'll see you next week. God bless everybody. Goodbye. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creek.